Welcome everyone to live stream reviews. My name is Christian Karasevich and I'm the content marketing manager over at StreamYard. And we're really excited to have you all back. Uh, for those of you, if this is your first time tuning in, basically the way that we work is we, the show is all about you. So we bring you on screen. We like to talk through some of your, uh, like either a, take a look at your live streams, you know, and help you, you know, for example, help you figure out some of the challenges that you may have when streaming, for example, maybe it's how do I bring more viewers in? Uh, how do I manage certain things throughout the show? How do I create a run of show? Uh, we even get the obligatory questions about equipment, all that other fun stuff. Uh, but it's all about you. Um, so uh, we're going to uh, start off here in a second. Um, I'm going to go ahead and bring on Letitia. And Letitia, I know like every time we start the show, we always like to start the show off with a question for our uh, viewers, right? Yes, we do. And so what was this week's question going to be about? Well, we want to, the last time we did the show, which I believe was about two weeks ago, we talked about pre-recorded videos and okay. you guys blew up the chat and y'all, you know, y'all talked about, you know, how you're implementing the pre-recording feature into your shows. And um, for some of you guys, your, you, your show is made for live, but we want to give you sort of an update to see how you guys are doing. How many of you guys are pre-recording your content? How are, are y'all using your the pre-recorded feature to refurbish your old content or previous content? So that's what we want to know today. Fantastic. Yeah, that's a great question. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So if you ever use if you've tried the pre-recorded live stream feature, um, let us know in the comments, yes or yes. no. And again, if you say yes, like let us know what you think. If you've mm -hmm. said no, like let us know as well. Like why, for example, have you not tried it out? Um, I know recently, just this past week, we did uh, we did a live stream um, on an episode we do called Ask StreamYard, where we did mm. talk about you know some of those use cases on using live versus pre-recorded content, mm -hmm. things you really need to know. So I'm going to put a link to that here in the uh, chat because it was a, a fantastic episode. Um, I was doing it with my uh, my my friend um, Melanie Diane Howe, and it was quite a great episode. So we want you to yeah. check that out. I have seen a lot because I'm always like on YouTube and stuff like that, and I've seen some awesome like different tricks that people are using the pre-record feature for some people are using it as like to premiere their podcast so they would take their podcast and upload it onto youtube as like a as like a video but it will have like the little sound waves going so you're like listening um to the content so i thought that was quite cool and i was like oh i should do that idea <laughs> as well yeah definitely yeah and so um for those of you who haven't checked that video out by the way do us a favor go check it out it's a, yeah, it's a really great good. episode um, because here's the thing, like we, we did walk through some of the nuances to using the feature, for example, you know, we definitely don't want people to like, we encourage people, you know, if you're going to use pre-recorded versus live, mm -hmm. like it's not a crutch. That's the yeah. key thing. It's, it's one of, it's one of those that you, you want to kind of keep in your back pocket. You want to mm -hmm. use it sparingly. Um, mm -hmm. for example, you know, I don't think location I would do this, but let's say we had to take a vacation, for example, or we want to take a vacation. Mm -hmm. And we want to yet keep that live stream, mm -hmm. you know, keep it at the same time. Because again, it's all about building consistency. Mm -hmm. And so maybe we want to actually pre record the entire show. Now, right. the truth there is if you're doing something like that, you know, you do miss out on, for example, like we've got a lot of people asking questions here about, you know, um, like we got Jim here tuning in from Ohio, for example. Like we wouldn't be able to display these during the pre recorded video. Mm hmm. So it's so it is a trade off, you know, but we would be able to go over in the comments, for example, on Facebook and talk to him. That's right. Example, That's right. And everyone else. So, right. Yeah. yeah. Um, and don't feel and don't feel any kind of way because you are doing pre recorded. I know sometimes people are like, oh, pre record is bad and you, you lose out on that engagement. Really, you don't because 
most of your audience is going back to watch your replays. And another yep. trick you could do with the pre-recorded content is like you have the opportunity to sit back with with the people who are watching and answer in all the questions that come in. Like you won't miss a thing. Sometimes when you're live, we get this 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 sort of like a um, challenge all the time. You know, Christian people come on the show yep. as guests. And they're like, yeah, it's so hard to manage to chat and click all these different things and put up the overlays and stuff like that. And pre-recorded does give you that option to sort of sit back and relax and just enjoy the sh your show along with your attendees and also take down some notes, too, and on things that you could improve on. Yeah. And you also it also here's the thing. It depends on the topic at times. Yep. as well. Some topics, for example, if you know that it's going to be a juicy topic, it's going to be a topic that's going to get a lot of questions from your viewers. Mm hmm. Here's the thing. If you're doing like a live stream like this and you don't have, for example, Letitia and I manage this ourselves, but yeah. if you're the, if you're solo, you know, solo like streamer here and you're doing everything yourself, you're mm -hmm. trying to actually engage with people on the camera and you're also trying to pay attention to the comments and all the right. other stuff that comes along with it. Maybe you do want to pre-record that episode so that you can spend more of your time engaging with your viewers. That's right. In the comments. That's right. Yeah. So, uh huh. Yeah. And I also think that pre-recorded does work well when you're testing a when you're testing a show idea out. Mm -hmm. Like if you ever look at a big time network, like I here I live here in New York City, and a lot of times, you know, I've seen people do pitches to different networks here. Yep. So they will pre-record a show, they would they will have a whole setup and they will send the the station like six to twelve different videos for a particular show, and then they watch and you know. The network watch and sees if they're going to approve it. Uh, you could do the sort of same thing if you have a show idea and you want to test the audience out and see how they like it, see how many views you get and things like that. You could sort of pre-record a whole batch in one day and then schedule it out and then just sit back and see what the results are. Definitely. And the other thing also, by the way, and I, I want to seriously drive you back to watch that episode that I mm -hmm. did with Melanie, uh, but we talked about three different ways that you can uh, use the pre-recorded feature. We talked mm -hmm. about like, or sorry, scenarios. So we talked about like when somebody might want to use just straight up live video. Mm -hmm. We talked about um, when people want to just do a hundred percent pre-recorded video. And then we actually talked about another scenario where you can actually do both of those items together. So you can incorporate pre-recorded content into your live stream um, and so forth. And it can actually still have some of that engagement you want to bring in, like the comments and things like that. Um, so, I want to go through these questions here, Letitia. We've got a couple sure. questions from our uh, viewers. Uh, Daniel Meek was asking, uh, how do we do the lyrics? I think he's referring to those lyrics in the intro video. Mm -hmm. That was in the intro video. So it was made completely outside. Uh, and then we brought it into StreamYard and we put it into the brand folder under the videos clip section. Uh, that's basically the way it works. Um, let's see. Paul has a question. He's saying... Pre-recorded, he says, the file size limitation makes it difficult. So, Paul, I, I'm actually wondering, I, I think you're maybe confusing the pre-recorded feature with video clips, mm -hmm. I think. And so, uh, for example, there is the video clips feature. That is under your brand tab under video clips. And those have a, they do have a limit of uh, 200 megabytes or 10 minutes and 10 minutes max. Mm -hmm. So it's 200 megabytes, less than 200 megabytes and 10 minutes max. That's ideal for like an intro video, you know, or something to that effect. Right. If you do want to run a longer video, there is the share option and you can also do sharing a couple of ways. If you click share at the bottom of your screen, there is a share screen option mm -hmm. and that will let you uh, pick like, you know, for example, maybe you want to share a video that you have open in a browser tab you could share it that way the other right. option is to use the video file feature and there aren't limitations on that right that's if you want to share something you've you've um recorded separately the feature right. we're talking about though is the pre-recorded live streams feature and that's if you're in your Streamyard dashboard mm -hmm. and you want to create a new broadcast that's actually like you can actually go and do that so let me yeah. see if i can show you all this oh yeah because I've, I've uploaded videos that were like two hours a long two hours long so yeah pre, for pre, the pre-recorded feature mm -hmm. yeah so let me do this let me actually go ahead and i'm going to share my screen so people sure. can see this and, and paul if this isn't the if, if you're referring to something else let me know mm -hmm. um but i think that i know what you i think i know what you're referring to so this is the feature uh this is how you can use the pre-recorded streams feature so here i am i'm in the streamer dashboard i'm going to click on create a broadcast and then i'm going to select use pre-recorded 
video. There's a new feature. And when you do this, it's going to let you uh, pick a recording, whether it's a past recording, for example, mm -hmm. up to, again, you, you do have the limitation there of how long we save the stream, but you can pick one of those videos or you can actually choose to upload your own from your computer. And you can schedule this just like you would schedule a broadcast. Right, right. So... Um, so you do create broadcast, use pre-record, you'd select whatever the destinations you want to select were, and then uh, obviously pick your file. Um, one thing to note, by the way, so when you are going to, if you do want to use this feature, you want to make sure you read the guidelines for each platform because right. they are different. Facebook and YouTube, they don't they don't mind you using pre-recorded video, but they do want you to note that it's pre-recorded. Uh, LinkedIn, on the other hand, advises they don't want you to using any pre-recorded content at all. And that's right. in their terms and conditions uh, on LinkedIn Live. So that's something you want to just check out. Um, so don't just, just because it's there, don't just select it. You make sure you need to read the terms on the platform. Right. It's okay. Very important. Cool. So uh, let's see if we have any other questions here. And then let's bring people on screen. So yes. um, let's see. Yeah. So a uh, great question from Roaming Prepper. I'm a relatively new user, but we'll use that when I have work commitments overlap my live times. Yeah. I still try to use it as a premiere. Absolutely. So again, if you, if you're using the pre-recorded live stream feature, the whole point is, you know, it's one of those where you can, uh, you can use it to supplement your existing live stream. That's right. So you can't make something like we all know life gets in the way sometimes. That's right. You at least can have a backup or let's just think about it from the perspective of like a, a TV news station or even a, let's say a sports game. A lot of times what sports will do, let's just, they have their live broadcast, but let's say you're watching the Yankees and there's a big rain delay. So they don't just cut the broadcast. That's airtime they paid for, right? So what they do is they have a pre-recorded, they already have a video ready to go in the off chance there's a rain delay. Mm -hmm. And so then they will substitute whatever that current game was with pre-recorded video. And they will note, this is a previously played game and it's a previously recorded right. game. Right. So it's, you know, it's the same process again for you. Mm -hmm. And I see it working well, especially for those of you who may have, you know, not so good internet, you know, and you maybe want to just do a video and then upload it as a pre recorded. So that way you get the quality is still there. So yeah. I, I look at this as StreamYard is giving us no room for excuses. <laughs> It's okay. like for those of us who are camera shy, I, I, I hear that a lot from my clients. I'm camera shy. I don't want to be on on doing the live. I'm so shy. I'm introvert. Um, do it as a pre-recorded. Like do it as a pre-recorded in your car, anywhere you want, and just so that you can get comfortable with looking in the camera and being on video, and then just upload it there. I look at it as content is content, whether it's live or pre-recorded. It's yep. still you distributing content. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And um, I just want, I want to clarify a couple of things. So like I see my destination training here, by the way, they're, they're, um, they're saying, Hey, you know, you're using, they're using pre-recorded for sponsors. So I, I just want to make sure this is like clear. So I think we're talking about two different types of pre-recorded oh, yes. content here. Yes, pre-recorded, so like, yeah, you could pre-record a sponsor video and put that as a video clip or use mm -hmm. it in the share feature. For example, that's different from pre-recording your live streams, mm -hmm. i.e., Letitia and I could literally pre-record this show. And the only downside is we wouldn't be able to bring up your comments right, during right. the live stream. Or bring that's guests obviously on. why we do this live. Mm -hmm. So I hope that makes sense. Yes. Um, okay. So there's also another good question, by the way, here. And then I want to make sure, let's bring some people on. Um, let's see. So where was this question? Uh, Dr. Stewart uh, uh, Bugan is saying, you know, recent use case for our church minister, uh, the video broadcast needed uh, had poor or no internet connection. And the solution was to record and upload when the internet was okay, then use that as pre-recorded. Yes, that is a great mm -hmm. use case for a right. live stream. For example, if you're like, if you're traveling around, you know, you're able to, if you're able to travel and you're like, I still want to, you know, I want to do my live stream, but oh, well, maybe I'm in an area that doesn't have good quality internet. Right. So, at that point, maybe what I'll do is, you know, I could pre-record everything and then upload it as a live stream. Right. And I could even put at the beginning, like, hey, guys, sorry, I had bad internet or where I'm at, I don't have a good, strong connection. Mm -hmm. And then this way you pre-record it so it doesn't actually, you don't have to have, you know, the the really strong, if you don't have the bandwidth that you need, it'll still let you, you know, use live streaming in that situation. You just won't have to stream the whole thing. 
Right. So it'll do it all for you. Very cool. Okay, so if anybody wants to come on and join us, by the way, I think Letitia, I think you dropped the link. Yes, um, I did. Let's go ahead and drop that again, actually. For yes. people that want to join us, uh, feel free to come on and join us. Um, let me see. So Emma, let's see. And while we're doing this, I'm going to go through these comments because I think we got Yes, some and I'm just going to drop that link. I'm dropping the link again, guys, in the comments. So if you want to join us on screen with your question or future requests, the link is right there. By the way, I do want to encourage Payo time. I want to encourage yeah, you to Peo, come on. Please and join come us. on. I've been said, watching. Yes, I've been watching Payo. I, Peo I don't know what this means. I've mondo upped my live stream. I think you've. I think he's, this means that he's significantly upped his live stream. Yes, game he since has. On the show. I've been literally. I want to see this. Stalking his channel every time he comes on, I get a notification on my phone. So I would love for Payo to come on because he was on with us two weeks ago. So super exciting. Exactly. And uh, for those who don't know, uh, Payo Time was a guest on a previous stream. They streamed about like the Los Angeles Rams. Mm -hmm. I keep getting all the names confused with teams nowadays. <laughs> but Los Angeles Rams. And um, we were talking with him to encourage him to you know, up his game because he had a great topic. But his background was, I think he just had standard painted walls behind him, for mm -hmm. example. And we gave him a whole bunch of suggestions. We even talked about merch. I mean, I'm interested to see what all he has. Yeah. So hopefully he'll join us. Phenomenal, phenomenal channel, guys. Phenomenal. Um, so on the subject of uh, pre-record, I do want to uh, bring up this question. Lavelle is saying, I've used the pre-record feature. It works well. Is there a way to set it where we can be in the studio while it's playing live and show people's comments? So that's the, oh. that's the difference, actually. That's mm -hmm. the big difference here. So if you're just doing a normal live stream like we're doing right now, we could be in the studio and we can bring bring comments in. However, mm -hmm. if you're pre-recording the stream, you don't get it. You can't do that. Yeah. So you have to, the way you access the comments, um, you'd have to go over to the platform and just engage with them in the comments. That's the way all of the premieres, any, any of the premiere features work. So for example, Facebook has their own feature for premiere. YouTube has their own feature. They're totally separate. The reason you'd use uh, pre-recorded through StreamYard would be if you wanted to multi-stream to those platforms, basically premiere videos to both of them. Uh, it, it's a lot less work that you'd have to do. Right. So those platforms, they don't they don't allow you to really bring the comments in as well. Like they're right. it's all engage it's all engaging through the comments themselves. Mm -hmm. I mean, I use the uh, video file feature to do that because I have a webinar that I do every week that I evergreen it. Yep. So that way I do will sit there and pull the comments up and things like that. So that's really the workaround, yep. <laughs> really. Um, but yeah, if you're going to do it as a pre-recorded, that option is not there. Exactly. Yeah, pre-recorded is like the hands-off approach. Like, hey, I scheduled right. it. It's out. Boom. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yes. So let's see. Um, let's see. I'm going to go through. We got some good comments coming in. Wow. Yes. So... Uh, Benny's asking how much bandwidth they need uh, for live streaming. Typically, so it's typically around four megabits per second. That's like the m absolute minimum. But I would strongly encourage you to have uh, much more uh, higher bandwidth. Hey, O's here. So, um, and, and the reason is like, you know, and I mean higher as in like, I'd go for more than like 20. If you can get 20 or more, like that is definitely going to be a much, you're going to have basically a lot more bandwidth. Um, okay, so let's do this, Leticia. Let's let me pause at the the twelve fifteen mark here, and let's go and bring on payer time. Absolutely. How we doing? Good. Thanks for having <laughs> me. <on. laughs> so, okay, so update us. How how was the how's your stream been? What have we what have we done since we had you on? Okay, okay. So first off, this is getting fixed. Uh, okay. My back drop is still lacking, and uh, it, it's it's. One of those things I'm, I'm get. I've ordered some Rams merch uh, to come on in here uh, to fill that out. Uh, I tried a green screen, but okay. I'm just not that talented at lighting. It looked horrible, so I just didn't do it. Um, and then uh, I did get merch. Uh, it the, you can now get a Payo Time mug. <laughs> Woo! Nice, very cool. <laughs> um, and uh, yeah, so that was cool and a new thing for me. I had never tried before, but I, I realized it's a lot easier than you'd think uh, to get a merch lineup. But I started with just a mug. <laughs> and then um, I, I made a custom intro. Uh, like, mm -hmm. I, I recognize the delay that often happens using StreamYard. And the easiest fix for that ever 
is to have that countdown timer. And so right. I made a fun uh, three minute timer, but I often don't go live until it's at like one minute. But if I right. want to do it a little bit longer, you can. Okay. Um, cool. And yeah, just, I think I've done a really good job the past couple of weeks of planning out my live streams. Nice. Um, okay. And uh, so, you know, if I want to, I can download the live stream afterward and cut clips from it and have them as standalone videos uh, nice. to get more views that way. And uh, yeah, I'm, you know, it's still a slowly but surely growing YouTube channel. And my goal to get to a, a, a you know, a thousand subs is, is, you know, it's, it's, it's attainable, hopefully. Yes, when it that, is. Yeah. Very cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so so I do want to address one thing. I want to address that delay you're talking about. So there is the delay is actually on the platforms. There's usually a, a delay. There, there's it, nothing's ever really live, mm -hmm. like 100 live. There's always going to be a delay of sorts. Right. Um, ours is actually only it should be only a few seconds, like maybe two seconds, something to that effect. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, it's 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 because it's you know we're then pushing it out. It's like. We're pushing hey. out to the platform and there is going to be a delay to the platform at times. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. And that's mainly just on the platform getting it. Um, I do want to bring up your channel, by the way. Yeah, Just so everybody can see this. So this is uh, Payo Time's channel here. Oh, thank you. So <laughs> here's his channel. It's uh, He's got about 500 and something subs here. I, I just uh, want to say yeah. that that guy there is the Rams backup quarterback giving me oh. a show. Oh, MG. Yeah. That is really cool, actually. Yeah, wow. That's more, he's the trailer. <laughs> Congrats. That's pretty awesome. So I love that. Um, I like, I gotta say, okay, so I see you've changed your videos up. Um, here's your new uploads. Uh, here's your streams. I gotta say, he's got, you got some good numbers. I mean, he's getting yes, you do. hundred, you know, 50 viewers, a hundred viewers, 200 something viewers for his streams. And I'm sure the topics are, uh, obviously super important. Um, mm -hmm. let's see. So one thing I would address here, I'm just going to give you a, a couple of tips here. So, uh, you see how like your titles are getting truncated. They're basically getting right. chopped off. Oh, that means okay, yeah. So basically, what you want to try to do is you want to try to have, um, try to have these stop so they're not going to get truncated. Okay. And then the other thing, also, I, I'm not a fan of the yellow text. Okay. And that's only because I can't read it. Yeah. Um, so yeah. I think the yellow text is, is hard to read, but but I think overall, I think the content. I mean, again, here, let's bring it up. So. I'm going to play this. I'm not going to play any audio in this. Okay. So here's his first stream. So I like what he's done here. So he's put a logo up here on the top corner for his live streams. He's wearing the LA Rams merch looking awesome. Um, let's see. So did you use the hat tool that we gave you? Um, I, I like the, the, where you can place yourself. Yeah. I yes. use that. Yeah. And if you fast forward in this, you'll see, I bring on a guest and I, I have a background in there. Yeah. Cool. Let's see. Here we go. Very nice. Very cool. Okay. So Rams, Rams fans talking Rams. That's good. I like that. Rams um, fans talking Rams. I think that looks really good. Let's see what else we got here. If you want to, you could actually enlarge that Rams fans talking fan talking mm -hmm. Rams. If you mm -hmm. want to, you could actually uh, could do that. Let's see what else we got here. Yeah, because the channel is all about the fans. It really. Mm -hmm. Very cool. And then the other question, like I said, have is have you looked at your analytics? So these are about 45 minutes. How much time are people spending watching? Um, yeah, uh, th that particular episode, I'm not sure, but I, I'm getting between like 50 and 60% viewership. Nice. Okay, cool. And it looks like you're getting a lot of comments too, which is really good. Mm -hmm. So, and, and you're displaying a lot of these comments. So I think this is awesome. I will say another little tip I'd have for you would be at some point, if you want to, you could consider maybe making a call-in show. I actually tried that for the first time this week. Uh -huh. um, yeah. And, and yeah, I got the idea from you guys and watching the stream yard, you know, oh. the different game shows and things like that, that they mm -hmm. have going on. And uh, so, yeah, I tried my first one this week. It went really well. Yeah. Um, and I think the biggest thing is I have a lot of younger viewers. Like my, mm -hmm. my channel is pretty kid friendly. Um, okay. mm -hmm. I, and I like to keep it that way. Um, and so, I, th I found it was really important to say, you don't have to turn your camera on if you don't want to be on screen, but you can call in with just the audio and okay. StreamYard makes it really easy. And uh, yeah, I had about, uh, it was almost a two hour uh, live stream. And then uh, I had, a, I think I had about like seven people call in, which okay, that was cool. pretty cool. That is good. Yeah. Nice. 
Very nice. And just to kind of give you you all kind of some background on how we kind of do this show. So, mm -hmm. for example, like when we bring people on, um, we always tell people, you know, we want you to do a couple of things. For starters, we want you to turn. We encourage to turn their camera on. That way, at least we can see somebody's there. We also then encourage them. Uh, we try to get their question over in the private chat. So we try to get that info. This is to help you out, Peo. So we try to get that information as well, so that we know what the question is when we're bringing them on the on screen. So then mm -hmm. that way it's not like, oh, hey, we bring on you know payer time. Oh, hey, what's your question? You know, um, mm -hmm. versus, hey, we're bringing on payer time. Payer time wants to know about X, Y, and Z. So then this way it also helps with the flow of the show. You can kind of think of questions beforehand and so on. So awesome. I gotta say, I like your channel, doing well. Um, doing could, very well. Could could I just ask you, um, yes, if you go back to my channel, yep. there was one live stream I did, and uh, I I I I tried some overlay stuff with it, and I'd love to get your feedback on it. Sure, which one um, is it? If you go to um, actually, yeah, go to the LA Rams fan chat. So that this was my this live one. show. Okay. This is cool. my call in show I did. Okay, and nice. so there's my timer. Okay, um, and then if you fast forward. To yeah, so this is my uh, kind of overlay that I made. Okay. I'd love to know oh, what nice. you think. About. I think the overlay is good. Okay, so a couple little. Oh, I like that. Okay, so a couple little tips I have here. So I definitely on the social media channels that are here, um, I would potentially enlarge these. Mm, yeah, I would center them on the timer. So for example, like you see how you have the zero zero here. I would probably center those. I'd enlarge them, and I might even put the follow us above it. Right. Oh yeah, good idea. Either above it, or you could put it to the side and then just center this whole piece mm -hmm. on the timer itself. I do like the style of this. I think that this fits really well with your logo. I gotta say, your logo is awesome, <laughs> and I like this. Okay, so then, okay, so let's talk about this. So then, you cut in and you've got an overlay that you've got up. Okay, so let's play that real quick. I love the energy you bring at the beginning. That's another thing. Always practice your intro. It may be the thousandth time you've done the intro, but practice it. You know? mm -hmm. and so that way you have it down so okay so you come on screen um one thing i guess i would adjust this youtube logo is getting cut off if you can see here mm. so maybe shrink that down right uh maybe shrink that down um again the other are you streaming just to youtube or are you going somewhere else just to youtube okay mm -hmm. so i'd say either a yeah. couple things you do you can either shrink this down the other thing you do is you could take this completely off and do pay your time love talking football go rams right Mm -hmm. You could do a go Rams here, a go Rams here, right? Mm -hmm. And then the other thing you could do with this YouTube is what if you made, because I saw you had this earlier, like what if you have that animated subscribe at the in that intro? Oh. What if you made that as an animated GIF? But can you oh. combine like overlays with like, 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 can you combine overlays? No, uh, you can't come, you can't put like multiple layers on, mm -hmm. but what you could do is you could bring it up throughout your broadcast oh. so for example um you say we have the stream and logo in the top right up here mm -hmm. one thing you could actually one thing you could do is you can you could upload an animated gif there okay so if you want to have an animated gif you could put that up there mm -hmm. the other thing could also do is you could make it like I'll, I'll show this example like for example we have this for example yeah. right so we're not using an overlay at that point so you could just use it throughout your sparingly throughout your broadcast mm -hmm. and say something like, for example, Hey guys, you know, thanks a lot for tuning in. You know, if you like this uh, show, do us a favor and subscribe on our YouTube channel. You bring up that particular uh, animated GIF and then you could go back to your overlay if you wanted to. Okay, cool. Yeah. Makes sense. Or totally. you can make it a video or something like even a little, you know, a five second video mm -hmm. that you pop up. So does that help? Definitely. Well, I have a big watch party coming up for the Rams preseason game tonight. Woo! Very cool. I'm definitely gonna, you know, take some notes and uh, try and get a little bit better each and every live stream. Nice. By the way, I got one last thing for you. I just saw this a second ago. I, you need something here. That I was switching in between uh, overlays at that point and backgrounds. Yeah. So I consider like I'd either consider going with. So you've got the. So you go to this. I like the switch. Mm -hmm. it's just that like i actually like this i actually like this better yeah than um the solid yellow i think the solid yellow is a little too much <laughs> yeah no that, that was me yellow, and yellow to... and, yeah <laughs> that, that yeah. was my first time having three screens on like screen so <laughs> yeah yeah cool very cool no otherwise mm -hmm. i think it looks good
No, I really appreciate the feedback. Yeah. Awesome. Keep up the good work. Thanks. Fantastic. Awesome. Okay. Well, I, I, th I just want to say thank you to you guys for having me on again. And uh, I'm excited to, you know, continue to be part of the StreamYard community. And uh, I, I, my goal, I do want to become like a master of StreamYard. You're like, already the master. You're doing really well. So uh, a couple of things. If you have any, you know, we have a StreamYard webinar. I don't know if you ever signed up for that. I already am. Yep. Okay, August so 26. <laughs> sign up for the StreamYard webinar. Uh, so we got a couple of things. So we got the webinar. Uh, definitely check out the webinar if you're mm -hmm. interested in, uh, if you're new to StreamYard, um, try the webinar. And then uh, the other thing also, actually, we should probably mention this. Um, we have an upcoming event as well. Leticia, I think you have a banner for that. Yes, I do believe that we do. Ooh. Yeah, okay, that I was in the uh, guest chat. So we got the webinar. So that's if you're new to StreamYard, you want to get some one on one help from our support team, you can go sign up for that. But there's also an upcoming uh, event. And this event is let's see, it's the Level Up Summit. Yes. And it's happening this Thursday, by the way. So, Leticia, I think you got a banner. Can you bring the banner up? I think. Or hold on, here. No, yeah, it's here. It. Level up summit. We have it go. up. This. Yes. Yep. We've got a banner. Actually. We've got this. <laughs> the level there. up summit. This is coming this Thursday at streamair.com forward slash uh, SY level up. Mm -hmm. And we've got a great lineup. Uh, we've got, let's see, who's. We've got an epic lineup. lineup. <laughs> uh, Gary Vaynerchuk's going to be keynoting this event. Yes. So, uh, big time marketer. Uh, so he's going to be keynoting this event. He's also an author, um, written quite a number of books. Uh, so we're going to have him on. Uh, Gage and Dan are going to have some announcements. The other thing also about this event, by the way, is it's our first, like we're doing a trilingual event. So it's mm -hmm. English, Spanish, and Portuguese. Yes. So we're going to be producing the event in, in three languages as well. So that's coming up this Thursday. And you can sign up. It's free, by the way. Mm -hmm. Oops, sorry, wrong. Uh, banner there and so yeah so you can sign up for free so awesome um, how many of y'all signed up already in the chat let us know <laughs> signed off took the day off work for it oh, yeah. <laughs> awesome fantastic so um again make sure you go and sign up for that register for it uh payo hopefully you're gonna go i think you've signed up so um go and Go check it out. Like it's it's a mm -hmm. great uh, event. We got some great speakers. Uh, Gary Vaynerchuk, Tiffany Lee, Bymasters, going to be speaking there as well. Let's see. We've got um, Evan Roberts, Megan Finnerty, Troy Sandage, our own Julie Riley is going to be talking about building community uh, with your live streams. So go and check that out. It should be a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Thanks for joining us, Peo. Oh, thanks, thanks Peo. Um, I'm looking forward to watching the rest and seeing you help other content creators improve their live stream game. Yes, and keep Anytime. it up. You're doing so good. Like, for real, yeah. you are. Thank you. Yes. Okay. Bye. See ya. Fantastic. This is going to be amazing. It's going to be a great event coming up. Um, okay, so let me do this. Let me catch up with the comments. Yeah, catch up with the comments. And then uh, the next person is Chasing Sunshine, just so you know. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. So, okay. Um, Let's see. So Shanta, I want to say thank you very much. Leticia, you look, uh, or sorry, Leticia, she's saying, or Shanta's you saying, too? you look amazing. You too, Christian. <laughs> <laughs> I had to like, I had to read that. I was like, hold on. No, <laughs> totally like, um, so Anita's saying, uh, <laughs> she thinks that uh, with pre-recorded, you still need good connection with guest speakers. I mean, your guest is still going to need a pretty good connection. Yeah, I mean, obviously, yeah, that's granted. They're definitely going to need that good connection. But when you're doing it live sometimes with the guests and you don't have good internet, it's, like, even worse. <laughs> you know? So it's better to, like, take as much, you know, labor off of your computer if that's exactly. the case. You don't have good internet. Mm -hmm. Let's see. So let me catch back up. I'm a few minutes behind, so let me catch up here. Let's sure. see. So... What time are you at, Leticia, on the questions? Uh, I'm I'm still, people are coming into the green room, so I'm getting their questions. Yeah. Um, Hayden, sorry, we're, uh, we're, we're not bringing, uh, we didn't bring you up. Again, it comes down to having a, you know, having a camera on. Mm -hmm. So, um, again, I mean, if your, your webcam's not on, I mean, there's, we just want to see who you are. That's all. So. Want to see your face. 
Let's see. Um, Cousin Roy's corner. If you've got any, uh, if you've got any audio issues, um, you know, feel you feel free to join us on screen. We actually yeah. want to hear what those are and like see what we can help with. It may be, for example, we always run into questions of you know people have two cameras open and they have uh, two different audio feeds open at that point, and so they create feedback. Uh, it could be something like that. Um, there's also the echo cancellation. So if people aren't wearing headphones, that's something to consider adjusting. But feel free to join us on screen if you want to. Um, let's see. So uh, Philip is asking what mic I'm using. Yeah. So I'm using a Shure SM7B, and I'm running that into an uh, into a Rodecaster Pro. So um, that's that's my setup. You don't need. You, I'll tell you right now, you don't need it, mm -hmm. but it does help create that warm, rich sound. Um, but I also would encourage people to test out different mics because they yes. are going to sound different from person to person. Yeah. It depends on your room. It depends, you know, it depends on a lot of different factors. Like I was using originally like that standalone mic and now I mainly use a lapel because I move around a lot. So it just all depends. Um, mm -hmm. So Marina, uh, she's saying she won the giveaway that we ran last time. So do me a favor, Marina. Um, Send me an email, marketing at oh, yeah, com. Just remind me, and that way I can follow up on on your um, shipment. Make sure uh, to find out where it's at. Actually, mm -hmm. um, let's see. Um, Maisie's asking, how do you activate your auto captioning? So this is actually a browser. So there's two things: the browser and the social media platform have captions. So for example, um, Facebook has a feature where you can turn on, you have to turn it on on Facebook and i.e. the user has to turn it on. So for example, if Letitia was watching, she would have to enable it on her end to get auto captions. Um, the same thing for uh, Google Chrome, for example, if you have Google Chrome uh, as your browser, there's an auto caption feature built in and it still comes back to it's the user. The user has to turn it on. And I'm going to link to that actually. So this is uh, enable... Um, auto captioning in Google Chrome, actually. Here's instructions here for that. Okay, let's do this. Let's go and bring our uh, guest on, Chasing Sunshine. Are you ready to come on? I think giving us a, I thought, yes. I think she, she gave me a, like, I think it was a high, like high five. five. <laughs> How are we doing, Chasing Sunshine? How are we doing, Veronica? I'm well, thank you so very much. Right now I'm hearing like our conversation and then you talking to someone else. Do you guys hear that too? Do you have headphones on? I do not. So I'm currently on a wildland fire and um, I just got off my ship. So I don't really have the setup right now, but I caught you guys and I can't believe I'm on. So I'll just try to ignore the other sound. Okay. So um, let's see. How can we do this? So are you on mobile? Are you on a mobile Pardon device? Pardon me? Are you on a mobile device? Yes, mobile device. Okay, so let's do this. Can you go into the cam mic settings on your mobile device? Yes. Go to audio. Yes. And let's make sure that echo cancellation is checked. It is. Okay. So let's see. How can we do this? Um, Leticia, any tips? So you, you're playing us on both screens? That's what she's saying? She's on mobile. Yeah, she's on mobile, on mobile. but doesn't have headphones. But doesn't have headphones. Ooh. I'll, how about this? I'll do my best to answer your question. So feel free. I'll, okay. I'll stop talking. Okay. okay. So my question basically is, um, when I'm pulling a live guest on and I have my mic plugged in to my phone or my laptop, it's a USB-C cable, and I can hear them, but they can't hear me. Okay. So I'm going to mute you so there's not the echo coming back. Um, and then I'll unmute you when we get to that part. So, um, okay, so you're you're using USB-C, right? And you can hear them. They can't hear you, right? So have, have you all gone in and checked? So, for example, under cam mic, there's a separate setting for speaker and for the audio feature. So that's the first thing I would definitely recommend that everyone check to make sure that they're both set up correctly. For example, mm -hmm. um, right now I'm running my audio through an external mixer. Okay. 
but I also have a computer and my computer has speakers and all that sort of stuff. And so if I were to switch the audio right now, for example, it's coming into my headphones. I could say, oh, send it to the computer. I wouldn't hear anything through here. Does that make sense? Sure. Yes. Yeah, that makes sense. That doesn't make sense. So um, that's the first thing I would try is make sure you go in and adjust the cam mic settings and look at audio and look at the mic and the speaker. They're two separate settings. Mm -hmm. And then in addition to that, if you're on, are they on a Mac or a PC? Do you know? I'm on a Lenovo laptop okay. using a different mic. It's, that one is a... It's like a speaker that you would set in the middle of a table for a conference call. It's the best okay. mic that I found so far. And it's still a USB-C plug into the laptop. Okay. Um, is Does that microphone happen to have, does it have a speaker port on it by chance? Like a, a port to plug in headphones? Or is it just no. a conference? You don't know? Okay. Um, one thing I would say on something like that is do you happen to have another type of mic you can use? Like, what's the goal of using like a conference call type mic? I do. I have just the, the, the a small lavalier one, um, okay. but I, I don't know how to plug that into the um, laptop. So most of the time, the lavalier mic, if it um, it's going to have, uh, let's see if I have one around here. Um, it's going to have like an audio, a stereo plug, and so that would plug into like your headphone port. Mm -hmm. Actually, I think it does. It does not. Okay, well, I, I understand what you say. Thank you so very much for your time. I'm sorry that we have all this echo stuff, but I'll do that and I'll come back if it doesn't work. Yes, do me a favor. Yes, do that. And then the yes. other piece of advice I want to give you is on your computer, go under your audio settings on your computer and check okay. what it is picking up for your audio. Mm -hmm. So, for example, <laughs> Uh, on my computer, I have a separate setting for uh, the speaker and the microphone and my computer is where it's being set. Mm -hmm. And then StreamYard is then picking up, potentially picking up something different. So you may right. want to make sure that those are also set correctly. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'll try that. Thank you guys so very much. I'm sorry for all this echo oh, stuff. I'll try okay. another day. Thank Don't you worry. so much. And You're do welcome. me a favor, go to, if you have any other challenges, you can go to streamair.com slash contact mm -hmm. and you can message our support team. We have 24 seven chat support that you're totally welcome to reach out to okay. and right. we're more than happy to help you. Okay. Okay. Thank you so very much. You're welcome. Thank you. Bye. Bye. <laughs> okay. Um, so let me see something. Um, Again, like when it comes to audio on your live stream. So for example, um, if you're on, for example, if you're on a Mac, you can, you can go up to the, like one thing I always tell people to do is go up to the Mac, the Apple logo at the top, and there's going to be a system uh, preference option. And let me see if I, let me see if I can get this screen and pull it up. Let's see. Yeah. Here we go. Yeah. So I'm going to show you all how this works. So here I am. This is my, uh, this is from my computer. So for example, if I'm on my Mac, this is what this is the way I work. So I start with my input. So this is, okay, so I know a couple of things. I know what mic is being used right now. For example, the input is saying, use my laptop. However, I wanna actually go down and use potentially something else like this. So that's what I'm gonna use for my mic. Can you hear me still, Letitia? Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm making sure my input, this is you know me talking into the, uh, into the microphone is working correctly. And as you can see, this input level is gonna move up and down. Now, if I happen to pick another device, hopefully this doesn't mess something up, but I'm gonna pick something else real quick, Letitia. Let's say I pick this, for example, as you can see, the mic input's not working. And I don't think you can hear me, right? I can hear you. Okay, so, mm -hmm. so that's just something you wanna keep in mind when you're working on you know, your audio. You wanna make sure your input is set correctly and then also make sure your output is set correctly. For example, if I want my output uh, to go through the device that I'm using, I wanna make sure I select the right one. So for example, if I pick my speakers, that meant that the sound would be coming out of my speakers and then potentially back into my microphone. So you wanna try to match these up. Like, what do I want the sound to come into? 
And what do I want the output to be? So I want to be able to hear this, for example. So, um, so I hope that helps in that sense. And again, that's on a Mac. PCs have the same thing. You just go under, um, I think it's control panel mm -hmm. on the PC. And uh, there's a sound option. And that's typically what you're going to set. You're setting the master sound across your whole computer. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, Leticia, what, uh, are there any questions you want to bring up? Questions. Um, well, I'm in the green room, but let me just scan through the questions here. How are you? Someone asked, what about a micro function change? One click, switch a to macro, a macro. Okay. Okay. Um, that is a good suggestion. Um, I know we're working on the hotkey support. Mm -hmm. So you need the hotkey support, I think, Wolfgang, to make that work. Um, so Wolfgang's asking for a feature request, and I'll make a note of this. Um, wait a second. Yeah, let's make a note of that. And there's another question I want to pop up. Yeah, sure, um, go ahead. Uh, let, me, let me get his. Let me oh, get yeah, his, sure, sure, uh, sure. Let me go back. Real quick. Yeah. By the way, I'm taking all your feature requests down as we're Yes, going. we are. Um, so, awesome. Got it. Okay, so I got Wolfgang's uh, comment. What's next? Awesome. Dunbar said, How can I optimize my following on Facebook page? Uh, when I schedule my stream yard, I get less views and watching as to when I do a Facebook Live directly. What can I be done about this? Well, you know, you got to promote your show. You know what I'm saying? So I think that's also definitely important that, you know, just scheduling your shows is, that's just one step. You know what I mean? But you got to like promote around the show, you know, maybe even starting an email list. So you can send out an email for when you go live, you know, yeah. that's what, yeah. Um, so I'd also say this, uh, the other thing also that, that uh, Maisie is asking as well is when they're streaming, from, for example, StreamYard, mm -hmm. they're saying they're getting less views and watching versus uh, doing a Facebook Live like directly on Facebook. So Facebook, you know, here's the thing. All the all the social media platforms, they want you to use their own features. Exactly. Like Facebook, for example, wants you to just use Facebook Live. They don't want you to go to other places. And so what they do is, you know, they, they put up obstacles mm -hmm. in front of you. That's what they're doing. Mm -hmm. So it's not necessarily about the fact that like, like, they, they diminish your reach, for example, because they want you to pay for ads, things mm -hmm. like that. And, you know, um, so in order to kind of get around that, I mean, it comes down to like, if you're multi-streaming, for example, you know, you're not going to like, if you're multi, like, it's, again, it's the same thing. For example, on Facebook, Facebook typically prefers you to publish a, if you want to upload a video, they prefer you to upload a video to their platform versus sharing a YouTube link. Mm -hmm. uh, and that comes down to, you know, how they want to run their operation their business. Right. It's the same thing. So, yeah. um, so in your case, um, you know, again, getting people to your Facebook page, I think the key thing is it's all the values for the most part, it's always going to be in the replay. That's true too. And overall StreamYard offers that better experience versus you just doing it as just a standard Facebook live. So that's another thing. And yes, you could look at it as, well, I'm getting more viewership by just going live through the actual app. But here's the thing. You don't know if those are the right people that are meant to be there. So it may look like you're, you're getting a lot, but really all reality, when you really look at it, all those, those people may not be following you or they may not be even sharing your content. So the, the experience that StreamYard provides outweighs just going live directly from Facebook or, or directly from, you know, YouTube. So that's another thing you have to think about is go back and look at the overall impact that you're making to your audience. And that's what matters. And the other piece of advice I would also offer here for Maisie is the community aspect as well. So mm -hmm. you want to try to build your own community. So mm -hmm. build a, build a group of I want to say rabid fans, like yes. build a group of fans. So for example, as Payo time talks about like football, the Los Angeles, he specifically doesn't just talk about football. He talks about Los Angeles Rams football. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And so his Narrowing audience down. is their fans of yeah. Los Angeles Rams football. Exactly. And Cause how many people came on and they, I want to talk about everything about sports, but that is so that's the red sea. You got to get down to more, make your own blue sea, which is what Payo did. He's like, yeah, I love football, but I want to talk about this specific topic about football. Mm -hmm. 
So yeah, so so what I would suggest is um, focus on the community aspect mm -hmm. because again, the more you build the community with your audience, doesn't yeah. matter where you broadcast, they're gonna go tune in. And the they other thing I would also you. say is look at where you're actually streaming to. So mm -hmm. for example, if people go to Facebook, like for me personally, I watch more videos on YouTube. Me too. And that's because YouTube is a platform for watching videos. Mm -hmm. I don't watch a whole lot on Facebook. Mm -hmm. And so it also comes down to you know getting to know your audience. Um, so for example, uh, you know, you may want to ask your audience like, Hey, where do you like using the email list or, you know, just having a focus group, talk with them and figure out where they like, where do they prefer to watch? Exactly. Maybe, you're, maybe you're streaming in the wrong place. That's the yep. other thing. Like mm -hmm. maybe, maybe you should be streaming on YouTube because that's where they're watching, for example, yeah. and so forth. So you do have to keep that in mind. Or if it's into a Facebook group, for example, make sure they're active, mm -hmm. you know, um, and make sure, you know, they're. You're, you're streaming at the time that typically is, you know, when they're going to actually tune in. So, right. Um, awesome. Okay. So we're going to bring in another, who's our next uh, viewer, Leticia? Our next viewer, our next guest is Pink Diamond. Very cool. Okay. So Pink give me Diamond, one, you second. ready? Let me, let me answer like five questions here and then we're going to sure. bring, we'll bring her on. Okay. Yes. So Tom Nash, uh, solid advice being given here. Thank you very much, Tom. Um, if you have any advice you want to add, feel free to chime in in the comments as well. Uh, again, because isn't like we're here to help you all, but we also know that there's a lot of really great people uh, tuning in with us, and you have some great tips. So feel free to add those. Um, Creative Girl of Color with Daniel B. She's asking, "How did Payo Time? I think do the countdown timer." Yeah, uh, a lot of people are, asking that. <laughs> my guess is he used Canva. Yeah. So you can use Canva for that. Um, let me actually. I think we have a blog post actually. Yeah, Canva is definitely stepping things up. So if y'all not over there put doing some great overlays and countdowns, you're definitely missing out. Yeah, so you can create a countdown timer um, in Canva that you then bring in the streamer. So basically the way it works is you go over to Canva, you create your video, for example, there, then you download it, you bring it into StreamYard, and you put it in the brands folder under the video clip section. That's mm -hmm. one way to do it. Um, okay, let me do one last question, and then let's sure. uh, let's see. I'm catching up, by the way. I'm catching up, everyone. Sorry. You're doing it, y'all. And to make it easier for us, guys, it's good if y'all put in hashtag ask, and then your question, or hashtag feature request, and then your feature request. Also, creating girl of color, uh, create, creative girl of color with Daniel B. Um, thanks, actually, for this this information. Actually, I wasn't sure. Uh, if people had questions about like what the, what our level up summit is that we're doing, mm -hmm. like, um, if that's not clear, let us know. We want to make yeah, sure let us know. We'll definitely putting the right answer those. Out there. Mm -hmm. um, so, Tom, one last question here from Tom: Is there a way to use Elgato Stream Deck inside of Streamyard? So, we're working on hotkey support. Mm -hmm. So, at the moment, there are there are workarounds, and I will say they're seriously workarounds because they'll work maybe today, and then maybe tomorrow they may not. Um, so. Uh, we are working on support for that. Mm -hmm. so I also gonna... have Stream Deck here, by the way, too. So, uh, so I'm waiting for it as well myself. Yes. Okay, let's go bring on our uh, next. Uh, yeah, sure, guest. sure. What's the bring... question? Uh, her, her question is about going live from a phone. Okay, sure. Okay. Okay, so you're muted and I can't unmute you, Pink Diamond. Yes. Good evening. I'm the creator of YouTube. Hey, how are you? Hey, how are you? I'm good. Um, the, so what, the what's phone, your question? What's your question? I, the question is the phone thing, it's um, me tiny on my phone. So if you're tiny on my phone, you have to go on Google to tiny in to be on StreamYard. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Uh, what kind of, uh, phone, what is kind of phone is it? Android, yeah. iOS? Uh, iOS? No, it's a Remy. What was that? What was that? A Remy. 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 A Remy phone. It's not an Android. So is it? Is it? Oh, Red My. Ah, I know. It is actually that is actually an Android phone. Um, mm -hmm. Red My is a. Uh, let's see. It's a. It's a Chinese company, I think. Mm -hmm. Um, I think it's an Android. I think it runs Android actually, or it's running a version of Android. Let me see something. Right. Um, right. So what's the question you have? Are you getting? Oh. So when you're using an Android phone, um, you should use the Google Chrome browser. 
Yet yeah, I use the Google. So. Yes, yes. So when me studying and I recognize that when me live stream on StreamYard. When my live stream, I um when I finish live stream, I recognize it saved the information of my live. So what I think it happened when I have to click on the side, I recognize that I can download it or I do it. I do it. Okay, so do you have uh, what's your question? I guess so. Okay, you have an Android. Uh, you've you've got a red my phone, so it's. Uh... All right. The question is. Do you um do the um, creation of the cream yard because it's really similar to Zoom but different platform. Yeah, well, um well what are you I guess what's your goal? Yeah. What are you trying to do? Yeah. Okay, the question is for the countdown, you have to pay for it or what? Um, to have a countdown timer, is that what you're asking? Yes, sir. So um, we include a countdown timer in the video clip section. Mm -hmm. You can also create your own. You can download your own uh, from certain websites. You, you can pay to have somebody make one as well. Mm-hmm. So there's there's various options there. We yep. include one, but you could also uh, pay to make your own for them as well from like other creators. For example, Canva has a feature. So if you're a Canva user, um, you can create one in Canva. You can create mm -hmm. one in Wave Video. Uh, you could go to like a uh, unsplash.com. That also might have some free countdown timers. Right. If that's what you're looking for. Yeah, so you absolutely can start off with free options and then later on down the line, if you want to do more of like a custom branded style, you can definitely, you know, reach out to people and they can do cer certain things like that for you. Some do it for free, some do it for at a cost. But yeah, we always suggest that you start off with any free or open available resources out there for your count on timers and overlays and stuff. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Very welcome. Thank you. Very cool. So, um, yeah, so I was reading through some of the comments people were asking. Uh, They're saying they think she has a, um, they think she was trying to uh, access StreamYard from like Google Chrome. And yeah, like you do have to go through, uh, recommended to go through Chrome on, um, obviously on Android and then on iOS. Mm -hmm. um, again, like, if you use the, you know, if you use the like browser, for example, it will recommend, like tell you where you need to go. Right. Okay. Let me take a couple more questions here and then let's bring on uh, Zan the man, I think. Zan the man. Very Woo cool. And if anybody else wants to join <laughs> us, do us a favor and uh, let's drop that link, Letitia. Yes. And you drop it in there again. You guys can definitely join us on screen. That's the best way to access questions is to get on screen or even if you have a feature request. Because especially when y'all making feature requests, sometimes we need y'all to explain like, okay, you want this, but what would you use it for? Same thing they do on the town halls. They want to, when you guys make feature requests on there and they were like, well, what would you use it for? You know, come on screen and, and ask your question or your feature request. Go ahead, Christian. Um, I was going to say creative girl of color with Daniel B. Uh, you know, feel free to join us. She's, she's got a question about her Elgato Wavelink. Uh, wave three. Yeah, join us. Let me drop the. Link She's live on StreamYard. It doesn't let her control the volume. It's super high. Yeah. So, so there. I will tell you, there is separate software that the Wave Link Three that you get with the software. Mm -hmm. Um, I have a feeling you need to adjust that. I think your either your gain's too high. Something's too high. Mm -hmm. Either the gain on the microphone, um, or your your volume is too high. That's probably what it is. I had that problem. Um, just with my laptop where the speaker was coming out of my headphones, but it would like, it would be like so loud. I had to go into my laptop sound setting and lower it there. I couldn't lower it through my controls here. Yeah. Let's uh, yeah. If she has, if, if, um, if she wants to join us, definitely come mm -hmm. on. 
again, we want to also take a look at your live streams. So, yeah. you know, whether it's a YouTube live or a Facebook live, doesn't matter. Like mm -hmm. we'll bring those up. We just, we get a lot of people that have YouTube channels. So they want us to, you know, they want us to take a look at them there usually. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll look at, look at them wherever they're at. So, right. um, let's see. We cover that question. Absolutely. Okay, so here's a good question. What do you guys do when a comment you want to show is too long and you it would already cover the third speaker? <laughs> so there's a couple ways you can do this. Yeah. So one of those would be you could cut to, uh, for example, let's say this. Sorry, Letitia, I'm gonna or you know I'm gonna cut myself out. So let's <laughs> say this was too long. Let's say I saw this comment and I'm like, you know what? That's probably too long. I've also kind of paying attention to this with my eyes. So I'm like, right. okay. I might, if it's just the two of us, I might just do this, for mm -hmm. example. Mm -hmm. I might get Leticia on there. You know, that's part of what I would probably encourage. Right, right. Because again, I mean, like if there's two people that may not look right, um, for example, it also depends on the different views you're doing. So for example, if we're doing this view, we also kind of plan out the views that we're gonna use. Mm -hmm. So for example, we don't use this view very often for mm -hmm. this particular type of uh, live stream, but I do use it for other things. Yeah. Same and as you can here. see, I'm hitting my chin right here with, uh, with your comment. And if your comment was any higher, it'd probably be over my head at that point. Mm -hmm. Oops, sorry. I clicked that by oh, mistake. Yeah. No, that's fine. <laughs> so, um, so what I tend to do in that situation is if I notice that it's probably a very long comment, I will adjust the view so that mm -hmm. it looks better on screen. Right. Cause there's no, the only way you can adjust the comment is if the person reduces how long their comment or question is. Mm -hmm. Because you, you don't have control over editing their comments. Right, right. Okay. That's definitely a good tip. Yeah. Um, Wolfgang, yes, uh, I do want to make sure we highlight this. Some members of LinkedIn told you, yeah, we mentioned this earlier. Yep, we have. LinkedIn yep. does not want you to use pre-recorded video on LinkedIn Live. They specifically say it in their guidelines. Mm -hmm. And so, um, the, you know, they don't say that they'll block you, but I have a feeling that they probably would. Yes, they like they're lightly saying it. Okay. Like, <laughs> Just, there, there's a reason they want people to be authentic, and so they yeah. don't want you to actually do uh, pre-recorded live and position it as a live. So right. Okay. Let's but see. if y'all want to um, build traffic to LinkedIn, you know, you can pre-record everybody everywhere else, and then mention, "Hey, I do my actual show, show live show on LinkedIn," so you can sort of build traffic there. People want to see you live and in action so that's that's a good way to funnel people to where you want them to go so you start in that what is that um they call it the pie piper line <laughs> or to where yeah. you want them to go it's a lot of people do it for youtube a lot of people they'll post everywhere else like post you know videos and pictures and stuff mm -hmm. but when they go live just like payo he only goes live on youtube and that's okay it's okay to say even though you can simulcast through Streamyard, but you just want to just show up here you want all of your traffic to go to a one particular platform because that's where you want to build your traffic to your community on that's mm -hmm. fine too no okay, answer is so, wrong that's what i'm trying to say <laughs> definitely so we got a couple more questions i'm going to take and then i'm going to bring zan on real quick yeah so, yeah a lot of people um, in the green room now <laughs> vj's crochet is saying uh, i'm sorry if this has been asked before but how do i include the chat when you upload them live so where are you uploading them live to mm -hmm. i see you're posting from a youtube channel my guess is um, that that's where you're like, so if you want to include the chat, there is in YouTube, there's actually an option to include the chat in the replay. So mm -hmm. you do have to go into the YouTube settings. Let me see if I can actually do this real quick and we can show her where this right. is at. Okay. Give me one second. Let's see. And I have to find the right account. So some of the accounts, like if I'm not the creator of the account, I don't have the don't necessarily have the control. Let me see. Mm -hmm. Oh, you know what? I already started this live. Mm. Um, basically, well, basically it's in your, your YouTube video settings. So for example, if you're going to take the, uh, if you're going to play the YouTube live, uh, if you're going to stream from stream right out to YouTube, you need to go over to YouTube once you've scheduled it. And there's a box to check that says include the chat replay. So, uh, or include the chat in replay. So you are going to have to go and include that. Um, if you don't check it, then it doesn't necessarily include it. But again, that's, that's a YouTube thing. Um, okay, so let me do one last question. And then... 
let's see. Um, Marina is asking, uh, will we have direct message in private chat like in Zoom? Oh, uh, please. <laughs> make a note. I'm I'm 99% certain this has been suggested. Before. Yes, I can't wait till we get that feature request. You get that feature on me. <laughs> it does help, so, and I get what um, you're saying. Like like for a show like this, if I want to just message you, Christian, something, I have to go right. around it and you know do something else. So it would be great if we just keep all communication in this section here <laughs> in the chat. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I made a note. Uh, Marina, um, I, again, I'm pretty certain that it's been asked before, but um, yeah, I'll put a request in for it. So mm -hmm. that's a great suggestion. Thank you so much. Okay, I'm going to stop here at Andrew's comment. Uh, let's go bring on Zan, the man. Sure thing, Zan, the man. Let's go. You ready, Zan? Oh, we got to bring right. him in. Sorry. <laughs> let's bring him in first. Let's bring, ooh. How are hello, you doing, hello, guys. How are you? Good. Very good. How are you? Letitia, Christian, first of all, you guys are amazing. I love you guys. Thank you for doing this every, you know, every time you guys get a chance to do it on Saturday. Yes. Oh, anytime. Guys. And and I realized we adjusted the show. We're now doing it uh, the first and third Saturdays of every month. Mm -hmm. uh, but again, we all because we also want to make sure we we give people enough time, but then also, um, you know, we want to see like you know, we want to give you time to actually build your live streams. You know. Mm -hmm. so, yes. So how are we doing? Right, what amazing. question? What, what can we help you with? Okay, so I'm I'm still. Familiar, familiarize myself with, with StreamYard. I love you guys. Um, okay. I'm brand new to it. Um, it's official. September the first, I'm gonna I'm gonna start my live YouTube channel. Uh, well, I have a YouTube channel already, but live um, with with um, StreamYard. I've made up my mind. You guys gonna be the platform I'm gonna focus on for all my lives. Awesome. So the question is, um, I'm a beginner. So how do I? I still have maybe what about ten days or almost two weeks. To really mm -hmm. prepare so that I can come out the door looking good on StreamYard. How mm -hmm. do I learn StreamYard um, now so that I'm better prepared? And um, can you only use it on Chrome? You can't use it on Safari, correct? Okay, yes. So um, let's see. Let's start with the browsers. So I'd say right. I'd encourage you to use uh, Chrome. So Chrome okay. over Safari. And here's the thing Chrome, it's a free download. I think you just go to. Yeah, Google. I have it. Yeah. Okay. Got it. Cool. So download Chrome. Um, then in terms of how to get started. So what's the show about? Like how? Oh, good. good great question. Well, okay. <laughs> a little background. I'm a certified confidence coach. I do a lot of my coaching sessions on Zoom, but, okay. but, and I, I do a lot of personal development, um, confidence stuff on my YouTube channel now, okay. but I'm doing, I want to have a I'm going to still mix it all together. Mm -hmm. um, this channel is going to be about dating relationships, and I'm going to throw some confidence in there also. Mm -hmm. So I want it to be live. I want it to be interactive. That's why I want it to be with you guys. And I'm going mm -hmm. to do it Wednesday, Thursday, Fridays at 5 o'clock p.m. Pacific. So mm -hmm. September the 1st is Wednesday. Mm -hmm. okay. <laughs> Look at God. <laughs> but Tisha, what you oh, you guys are so wonderful. You I'm know, right. the first thing that I would do is um, – Whatever I always say this, whatever I want to do, there's somebody else who have done it before I thought of doing it. So there's other people out there who've already paved the way. And okay. so what I do is I do something where I call it like my top five, where mm -hmm. I will go on and I'll look at, let's say if I was going to make a show talking about, like when I first thought of my email marketing trend show, I went on YouTube and I looked at other shows or other YouTubers that were talking about email marketing. I was not so much looking at their, their graphics. I was really looking at their content. So I would go on and look at their flow and what they would talk about and when they would transition from one thing to the next. And then I would say, okay, I'll like take notes down and I'll say, okay, how can I put my own spin on it? And right. that's when I've added the conversations at the end because I wanted to be more than just about email marketing. I also want to dive into conversations about branding, about fear, about uh, a whole bunch of other things that, but still mm -hmm. link to email marketing. So that's one tip you could do. Now, to practice and in, in, in learn the flow of StreamYard, out you, you could do a test live. Like you can go in StreamYard and maybe go stream in one in a Facebook group or something like that. Um, okay. And make sure it's yours, obviously. And like practice and practice the banners and do things like that. But, mm -hmm. I, you know, don't overcomplicate it because the thing is, is that live streaming is like, like layers. You know, you okay. start here and then after like a month or so, you look back and say, well, what can I add? And you just right. keep adding more things to it. So don't go at it with the sense of perfection. Like look at other people, but don't say I have to show up just like them. Because if you if you really go all when, when I mean by market research, and that's basically what I'm telling you to do, yep. 
you got to go all the way. If you go all the way back to their very first show, it wasn't the exactly. way it looks at their current show. So they, they evolved and they added more and more features and more things to it. Maybe, you know, even Christian and I have another show we do together and we've added a run of show and, and we meet, meet about it every week. So that's what it is. Just make it simple. Cause the point is that the first thing guys you have to practice with live streaming is creating consistency. So you have right. your days. So you're yes. literally like 90% in right now because you have your days that you want to do it. You're dead set on September 1st. Maybe start to seed your audience. Maybe post and say, hey, soon to come. I'm about to launch a show about this, this, and that. I want your opinion on it. And don't just okay. post that question one time. A lot of people do that. Like, oh, I post that question once and nobody answered. Maybe they didn't see it. Like, post it again. Post it once a week. Post it twice okay. a week. So you could, like, pull some information and make sure that you're going in the right direction. Okay. So, yeah, okay. keep it keep it simple. Keep it simple. And then, mm -hmm. you know, there's some, there's some good, uh, really good comments actually from people, oh, yeah. ice cream people here. And so mm -hmm. let me actually find these real quick. Cause I really want to be good with StreamYard. I'm, I, I made up my mind. You guys can be my premier platform when I go live. I'm still mm -hmm. keep my coaching sessions on zoom because I've got yeah. that I do the same thing. I, I, I use zoom for my clients and StreamYard for uh, going live. You know, it's a tool. And I always say that the failure comes when you don't use it. Like I have some yeah. people that still are paying for it and they're not using it. I'm like, no, the success comes when you use the tool. If you're not yeah. using it, you're not going to get the benefits out of it. Right. right? Yeah. And, and also, I mean, as, as Christian answers the next question, this you guys may not have this answer, but when you're doing YouTube and you have this integrated with YouTube, can you, um, I know this, this whole thing about a thousand subscribers 4000 watch before you yep. can join the YouTube um partner, partner yep. program but can you just put in your cash app people still can pay you through your cash app those Absolutely Okay yeah absolutely my show is going to be totally interactive it's going to be interview mm -hmm. style it's going to be me doing monologues i just want it, i, I want to bring a coaching element to it mm -hmm. but at the mm -hmm. same time do q and a about just dating relationships and confidence and success the the whole you know yeah, I mean, since you are already a coach and so am I, when it comes to that, when we're in the coaching world, it's a thin line because for me, I constantly have to tell tell myself, say, Tisha, talk about the what, not the how. Yes. Because the how is your program. Yes. So when I go do my shows, I'm not giving you strategy and implementation. I'm not sitting there doing the, the funnel mapping and all those things. That comes when you are a client. So make yeah. sure you don't tr you tread lightly with that line because you could be giving too much. And then yeah. when you come time for you to launch your next course or 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 a uh, discovery call or what have you, people are not going to buy because they're going to be like, well, you I get everything on your channel. But the channel has to be about awareness. So that's what you're doing now. It's like mm -hmm. I'm building awareness. I'm letting people know that this is the problem that they have. This is the obstacle that they need to correct. This is what 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 they need to change and the yeah. solution is go to this link and sign up for my course or go to this link and get inside my weekly coaching program you know yes. so for the coaching world because i know a lot of people say well you should give all on your youtube channel. no no no. we us you and i look at this as a business yes. like this is what i do full time yes. okay and i've been doing it for four years so yeah. i have to constantly tread that line of that if i really want to help people they got to get inside of my program I'm not going to give it all because just like Gary Vaynerchuk talks about, it's only 1% are actually going to take the advice. Yes. The free 99 stuff, you know, yes. the ones that really want to change are the ones that's going to make the put skin in the game. So yeah. just make sure you tread that line because yes. you could get over delivering and there's all going to be people in the comments going to try you. But this is why this yeah. is why this is why a coach needs a coach because that was yes, so yes. <laughs> because guys, this is what she just said. It's nothing more. Tell tell the what, sell the how. Mm -hmm. This is Latish. That was perfect. <laughs> That's it. That's <laughs> it. And you're gonna battle with that every time you show up because we want to give so much. We gotta yeah. understand we, we gotta give to the right people. Yeah. And then Correct. it's in to in, in the right setting. Yes. You know what I mean? Because when I'm working with a client, I'm diving into her, I'm diving all into that and really getting down to the nitty-gritty of coming up with a solution. I love it. So tread that line but don't go it's like that thin line between love and hate it's like I know, <laughs> you yeah. don't want to go over it that's great that's great advice I just, yeah you did some coaching already Look yes at those that's you're right coaches need coaches that's so true we need we need coaches mm -hmm. need each other mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. we need, especially we need in this online space yeah. of live streaming and stuff like that yeah well, thank you thank mm -hmm. you
So as right, I sorry, Kristen, we was just no, 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 you're, no, you're, you're bonding. Totally, you're totally fine. I'm, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna I'm gonna bring up some comments actually. Yes, let's bring them up. From <laughs> viewers, and you definitely need to go and make sure you check. And also, out. also, I want to yeah. make sure I don't forget nothing. Also, I want to get in. You guys got like a free, basic, and premium. I'm mean, mm -hmm. professional. Free basic pro, yeah. Should, mm -hmm. should I, I really want to be this. I'm very, when I say I'm committed, I'm committed. Should I just jump right into the basic? Would that will serve me better from the beginning? Because I, I, I like success. I like to just. I like. I like. I don't like crawling and walking. I like running and flying. You know, well, yeah, I go ahead. Run, I like to run and fly. Yeah, yeah. You have to go all in. <laughs> um, how about start this? With basics right away? Would that be good? Uh, I, I think, think the whole... basics. So the basic would probably be a good way to start. Um, mm -hmm. okay. One thing you could, you know, one thing to also kind of think about, like, I don't know if you've thought about turning anything into a podcast, but okay. here, I here's my, here's my thought process. So like a lot of people, they're planning what they're going to do today mm -hmm. and then it's getting you to think down the road as well. So for mm -hmm. example, your episodes that you're doing, they could easily become a podcast episode. Mm -hmm. Yes, it can. Done, done, done. So, because so here's what I would suggest. I would suggest on YouTube, but turn into a podcast, which is, okay, really, yes. I'm, I'm with Kajabi. You know, I just okay. became, yep. I, I just became, a, um, where are you at? I just, I'll show you. <laughs> yeah, sure. Yeah. I just became a Kajabi hero. Oh, oh, awesome. I'm actually a Kajabi. Actually, I don't have one of those. I'm a, I'm a Kajabi. <laughs> so, I, how did you guys get t-shirts? Yeah, how did you get a t-shirt? Because you, after you after you sell so much, you got to sell your first. You got to sell your first. Oh, they probably business. had a promotion, Christian. Okay. No, no, no. You, you get this. Once you nice. sell 1K on Kajabi, cool. Cool. You, get, you get all the swag. Oh, they I didn't get this. Very cool. They give you this. Well, I need to send them an email. Wow. They give you they give you the socks. You get oh, that's actually pretty cool. The stickers. What? You get the okay. Kajabi card and you get and you get big up in the um Kajabi. Oh, oh no, uh-uh. Uh, and they get you get big up in the Kajabi um the official um face group, which is like 25, 30,000. Right, people. right. If you haven't signed up, talk to me, I'll give you a discount. I have, <laughs> I have a partnership with Kajabi. So um so Let's see. So let me see what the question. And is I have answers. clients who sign up through me through Kajabi, and I help them create right, their to set up their course. Yeah, so they can get paid. Yeah, because it's, it's a business. Mm -hmm. So uh, the the piece of advice I would give you, so in terms of the plans, and I'm gonna bring up a comment from mm -hmm. uh, our I'm, friend. I'm already NLT. I'm going basic right now. I'm already gonna okay. sign up. So basic okay. lets you brand your streams better. That's okay. Uh, mm -hmm. It'll TMW 100 right on that. I think so I had the free the account like for like a day. However. <laughs> If you go up to the pro plan, it does have does give you the 1080p, but it also gives you the if you think long term here. So as you're doing these streams, mm -hmm. one thing I would probably do is I'd say have a portable hard drive, something like mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. Do your live stream and then develop a system. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that when you're finished with your you're doing your live streams, pushing it out. Let's say it's going out to YouTube and mm -hmm. Facebook. Okay. So great. The video is going out there. What you could also do is if you have, for example, the pro plan, there's an option. You just need to check it once. It's in the settings when you create a broadcast and it will let you uh, get individual audio tracks. That mm -hmm. would be for you and your guest. Oh, okay? okay. So if you wanted to convert this into a podcast, mm -hmm. okay. for example, because again, you got to remember you're putting your, you're, you know, it's like, well, why is Starbucks or McDonald's or why are they all on like, you know, every other block? It's because mm. they want to stay top of mind. You know, they want to obviously, you know, reach more people. Right, so right. you may have a live stream you may also want to do some testing and see if a podcast would work. Mm -hmm. And so if you have the pro plan, if you have the individual audio tracks checked, it's a pro plan feature that you'd be able to download. For example, like right now, as you and Leticia and I are talking right now, after the broadcast, I could download just the audio and get mm -hmm. the individual tracks. Mm -hmm. okay? And then I would have a podcast episode that would work right there. Right, and right. So yeah, really cut things out. I could add a certain intro, add an outro to mm -hmm. it and so forth. But the reason I'm so excited about what you're saying is because this month Kajabi just released um, yeah. a podcast product. So now, it, okay. so you can monetize your podcast in nice. Kajabi, and mm -hmm. then we've got the coaching product coming out real soon, mm -hmm. um, the end of this month or early next month. Yeah, and they have the newsletter um, um, product. So they just released that, and and so this timing is really good. So I might just go ahead and go professional. Right, so do, me, right. do me a favor, Jan. Just um, can you send me an email, marketing at streamyard.com? Okay, marketing at streamyard.com. Yep. Just do me a favor, send me an email, marketing at streamyard.com and um and just let me know like what plan you're currently on and uh and we'll talk. Okay. Okay. 
I, awesome. yeah, I'm on nothing right now, but I'm about to, I think I'm going to just go ahead and cool. do, just jump to professional. Go for way, it. You know, you can monetize your business. This is just, great. Okay. Uh -huh. Also, just, yeah, just email me first and we'll uh, continue the conversation a little bit. I so. would do that. Okay. Um, I think that's, I don't want to take up too much more time, but guys, you have been, you guys are the best. <laughs> yes, we are. <laughs> Thank By the way, so go back and look at the comments. There's a lot of really good feedback yes, from one guy's okay. wife, their life. There's, um, uh, let's see who else is in here. Like there's a lot of really good feature or a lot of really good feedback from people on some It's a great community. Do. It's a great community. Awesome. Thank you Thanks, so much, man. guys. I love you so much. And all the commenters out there, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. We want we want to make a difference. So thank you so much, guys. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Dan. You're welcome. Yeah. You're welcome. <laughs> awesome. Bye-bye. Very cool. Okay. So let me go through and answer some of these questions. I saw mm -hmm. so many questions. I'm I'm trying to bring them in and yeah, this is really good. So, good question. Um, let's see. Okay, and then blind so guy is next. that sounds good. Yes, let's do that. Um, let me just find some good comments. Okay, so Nia, the hacker's asking about: uh, Do we recommend turning off echo cancellation rather than turn on stereo audio? And does this boost audio quality? Ooh, good question. It's partly going to depend on like your type of mic and things mm -hmm. like that you're using. For example, I'm using a Shure SM7B and I've got an external like mixer and I have echo cancellation on, I have stereo mm -hmm. audio off. Mm -hmm. And mine is mostly because it's being processed by my mixer. It's right. applying filters and things like that to my audio. Yeah, so and it depends too, especially if you have a yeah. guest. Um, I would prefer the guests have their echo cancellation on. Definitely. Um, mm -hmm. So that would be the, that'd be something worth checking out. Um, uh, Milda's asking a question here. She's asking, uh, and I think I know what she's talking about. Uh, when she's live streaming after she wants to do parts in her video with the timeline. So what she's asking is doing timestamps in her videos. Oh, yes. That's a and great I'm idea. I'm going to show you how to do this. Mm -hmm. You do that on your other show, Christian. I do. And I'm going to mm -hmm. actually bring that up just because that was one that I did. Yep. And so then I can show you how. how to I like the time super, super, as super a viewer. Easy. It's yeah. actually it's so easy to do. Yes, it is. Let me see. Okay, so let me show her how to do this. So she's asking, and, and this is something that you need to think about as well as a live streamer. Mm -hmm. um, something you need to think about is uh, how do you go about doing like you need you need to think about timestamps. Right, right. And so let me actually see if I can do this. Sorry, I'm working in a different Google profile, and so it looks a little different. So yes. A great window. Okay. So she's asking how to do timestamps, and this is over in YouTube. So, for example, I'm, I've, this is my YouTube channel, my own video that I've done. Mm -hmm. And so you'll see these timestamps here in the video. So, for example, you'll see this, this, this. These blue things are hyperlinks, okay? So how do you do this? It's super easy. Yep. All you literally do is type, for example, uh, 5 minutes and 35 seconds. I do zero five colon three five. I put mm -hmm. that in the description of the video and it becomes a chapter marker in your YouTube video. Right, right. And YouTube's working on this, by the way, they're working on a feature behind the scenes. Some people have it in settings where yep. they will automatically create these for you. Mm -hmm. But when you're done with your live streams, for example, if you've structured them, you can go back and you can add these chapter markers. Right, right. I've seen a, the chapters of out. quite That's a few all people. You do. It's quite cool. Like super easy to do. Mm -hmm. um, it's just a part. It's one of those things. It needs to be part of your process. So, for mm -hmm. example, after you finish your YouTube live and you want to add chapter markers, go back, edit the YouTube video on YouTube, mm -hmm. and you can type in, you know, zero zero colon zero zero is the start. You know, if there's at 15 minutes, one five colon zero zero, put in whatever your text is. And then those will create chapter markers. So then in the video itself, there will be, and actually, maybe I should pull that up. Let me see if it's here. Yeah. Actually, yes, here, let me show you this as well. So here's the other part to that. So in the video, it's gonna look like this. So for example, I'm gonna show you this. So as you can see here, you see how there's these little notches. So as you can see, these correspond to what you're seeing here. Mm -hmm. So I know exactly like roughly where they're at. How do I limit? You see this? So that's how I create those. So it's that easy to do. Uh, not a whole lot there, actually. It's just about taking the time to do it, making it part of your process. Right. Okay. Um, 
Someone asks, is the zero zero, is the zeros, uh, is it necessary? Yeah, yep. sorry about that. <laughs> uh, you don't have to. Mm -hmm. Nope, you don't have yep. to. I, I do that, but I do it because I put in, you know, uh, I do that for like the start of the show, things yeah. like that. So I've seen several to. people that didn't use the zero zero zeros and it worked fine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, when you get to like, I think it's when you get to over an hour, I think you have to put one colon, mm -hmm. you know, if it's one hour and five minutes, one colon, oh, five colon, mm -hmm. oh, five, for example, you have to I think you have to write it like that. If you don't write it correctly, here's what's going to happen. It won't hyperlink. It'll just mm -hmm. show up as text. And so they just go back and make your edits. That's mm -hmm. all you literally have to do. Right. Okay. Right. Um, good, good let's question. See. So, uh, Dr. Seb is asking this, and I think there was part of the question earlier. They were asking, they were going to be on mobile. Um, I think the key thing is to remember about mobile. You don't get the green screen option. You can't yeah. do share screen or any of that stuff as well, but you can bring up like overlays and, and things like that from your, yeah. your dashboard, but it is on mobile. Um, the other piece of advice I'd recommend for mobile is wear headphones. Yep. Please. <laughs> <laughs> These do have microphones in them, but yeah. they don't sound that great. Mm -mm. So you do have to kind of keep that in mind in terms of um, like, you know, the microphone you're going to use. You have to, I'd recommend using like the Apple headphones or the Android headphones that came with the device. Well, what about plug-in versus Bluetooth? Which if somebody had to choose, what would you plug choose? In. <laughs> plug in all the way. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Uh, don't do on, don't do. That was do, a trick um, question. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I've I've tried both, and I'm telling you, doing the the plug-in way is way better because the, my Bluetooth and I have different types of Bluetooth, so yeah. it was picking up all the sound. And I live yep. in New York City, so yeah, trains, you, you, everything. You have, to, you have to remember that, like, if you decide you want to, we don't advise using Bluetooth mm -mm. Uh, for for live streams. Like, if you're just going to listen to music or things like that, that's fine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But you have to also look at it like this. A lot of these devices, like for example, your AirPods, like they sound great. Mm -hmm. except when you go on the other end and listen to them, they actually don't sound as good as they, they seem. They sound good to you, based, yes. but not going to sound good to your audience. Yeah. Um, okay, let me take a question from Mikey here, and then we're going to bring up Mikey. my guy's life and their life. So Mikey's saying, I want to customize the backgrounds when I bring on guests. Are there spe specifications where you can play in the cutouts? So uh, the piece of advice I would give on this is I would take a screenshot. So for mm -hmm. example, right now, I'd bring up, like I'll take your comment down, I would take a screenshot of this mm -hmm. and then I would do, you know, for example, if there's going to be a third person, for example, I'm going to bring up blind guy's wife in their life right now. If I were doing this, mm -hmm. I would take a screenshot of us in that view. And right. then I would go over to like my design program and make those edits. Right. Um, if you're like, well, Hey, I, I need four people and I don't have four people. You could also just bring yourself in through another browser window. Right. So that's another option. Like I'll do that real quick here. It's going to probably mm -hmm. create some And I've back. seen a lot of people do that where they'll mute the other uh, device just so they can have those four blocks on the screen. Um, yep. That's just another workaround that you can do. I know some people like, I needed to have four blocks. Like some people don't like it like this with three, like exactly. how it is right now with the four, you know, you could then bring in another. So that's what I would do. That would give me, you know, the four person and I'd make my adjustments and mm -hmm. then do your screenshots. You also have to remember this. Uh, depending on the program you're using. Mm -hmm. So for example, Canva does not let you do cutouts. So you could do all your design work in Canva, but you're going to have to still bring it into another program. Right. Maybe like Pixel or PIXLR or like Affinity Photo, um, those kinds of programs or Photoshop to be able to do those kinds of cutouts that you need. Right. So uh, that is something to kind of keep in mind there. Okay, with that, let's bring up uh, Blind Guy, his wife, and their life since they're already here. He is um, here. I think, I think you're on mute. Yeah, you're on mute. So what goes. can we help you with? Hello, good morning, everyone. Afternoon, wherever you are. Thanks for having me. Thank you. All right. So uh, my question is, I do live stream, by the way. I use StreamYard exclusively to live stream. Um, mm -hmm. And so my question is about iOS, that mm -hmm. we've had some major issues with people that use a uh, Apple device, like mm -hmm. if they're using their tablet, if they're using their uh, cell phone, mm -hmm. if they're using their uh, laptop or their uh, PC or their PC or mm -hmm. I should say desktop, you know, their um, actual computer that has, you know, the uh, CPU attached. So, um, what's the issue exactly? 
Say that again, please. What's the issue? What's the specific issue? The specific issue is that they, they, a lot of times they can't get in. Safari will not let them go to Chrome or Safari keeps trying to like, you know, do something, I guess. They, and, and they glitch. Like we just had a live stream on Thursday with a guest. I think it was Thursday. And he just kept glitching. And he was like, I think it's because it's my, I usually don't use Chrome. This is a person that live stream, he live streams a lot to schools. Mm -hmm. uh, he's an educator. He's a storyteller. So our live stream, we have guests on our show. So we always do a tech check with them ahead mm -hmm. of time. He, he was freezing some. And we also noticed that like iOS devices, sometimes it resolves itself after the issue will resolve itself after about 10, 15 minutes or less. Mm -hmm. And so that's another reason why we would bring, we bring our guests in before we even start the stream. So that mm -hmm. way, if there are any glitches that will resolve themselves, maybe they will. But right. I didn't know if this is like a, if this is a StreamYard thing, uh, mm -hmm. an, an iOS thing um, or what have you. And that's question number one. Question number two, I think I heard Christian say that you want to see live streams. I have one. So if you want to look at it, we can. Yes. Okay. So I'll take your first question. So your first question about iOS. So part of that is, um, and they just started recently allowing this. So, and I, I use iOS all the time, but there mm -hmm. is a setting. They may need to go in and adjust the browser preference. Right. So there is a setting on iOS in settings for like telling the browser which like which app they want to open mm -hmm. so like if they're for example opening a link it's always going to for the most part it's going to always direct you to safari and that's because that's what ios wants you to use if you're on android right. they, they're going to direct you to chrome if you're on right. samsung they're going to want you to use the samsung mobile browser even if it's on an android device mm -hmm. so part of that i think is um i think that they may need to go and adjust the setting in their browser on their ios device to get it to open to default to like instead of def like right now it's defaulting to safari if they want to move it over to chrome they just need to make that adjustment and it's across mac uh ipad uh, ios etc so that's that should fix getting them over to the right browser uh they could also try like the brave browser as well or as chrome um to, to get around that does that um does that help no they they typically do all of that. They typically close. They typically are able to get into Chrome and right. close Safari, and they still have glitches. And, and it, it's it's and it's actually fifty fifty. So everything that you've said, we we've, we've you know we've gone through those different things. Yeah. And it's, so I just figured, let me ask you guys if you know if it's you or if there's something else else that we can do. I have a f I have a feeling. I mean, it's like most most platforms; they all want to keep you on their own platform. Right. And my guess is it's something behind the scenes. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah. uh, you know, I I make sure they're running the like, for example, make sure they're running the latest version of iOS. You know, they're I know they don't always catch all the bugs that happen on mm -hmm. you know on the device. So you know, it very well could be that. Um, but like like so, for example, when a glitch does happen, what what exactly is that glitch? They're usually frozen. Um, that's that's what we've experienced. They have latency, and you know that's that's the main one. That so we are found. they okay? So so in terms of latency, I I don't think that's the. So I think it's a combination of things. I think it's partly the device, but I also think the internet plays a role in that too. Mm -hmm. So like for example, if I'm like, for example, if I go on my phone, you know, and I have. I think this is like one of the latest iPhones. Like if I go on like speedtest.net, for example, it's going to tell me I've got like really fast speeds, it's probably be faster than my internet on my computer. However, um, the thing is though, it's not actually fast mm -hmm. because it's not a consistent connection. Mm -hmm. It's going to give me like a good connection. And then there are going to be spots where it is going to glitch and freeze. And that's a lot of times because of the fact that you're on a mobile device. Like right. an iPhone or an iPad, they're going to both give you the same kind of issue. Mm -hmm. And then in I'm, terms of a laptop, I mean, the laptops are typically going to, as long as you're hardwired in, you have enough upload speed for your uh, sig for your um, for your uh, internet. 
yeah. then it should be just fine. If it is freezing up at some point where there are latency issues, that also tells me either a like what kind of device are we using, right? You know, what kind of device? Uh, what's the you know again? What's the home internet situation? Are you going on cellular? Or are you going on Wi-Fi? If you're on cellular, cellular is not fast. No, right. it's not. It's usually, yeah, and data, then we've but, we've had all kinds of situations where they are hardwired. They're on their PC and all of that. And so that's where I'm like, good grief, you know, what is it? And when I say latency, um, yeah. I mean, just like we hear the robot sound, they're glitching Ooh. as far as um, they they disappear and come back where we got the wheel spinning, their screen might go black. You know, that that's what we had the other day specifically for him. Ooh. He was the most recent. And I had forgotten about some of those things because we didn't have anyone <laughs> Had yeah, for a while with that. So I was like, good grief, this is just fun. And and of course, you know, we move through it. Right, right. Yeah, I, I, I think like if you're the things you're describing, like I, th I have a feeling that it's something to do with their, like, for example, what kind of device are we using? Like, if so, you know, is it a, you know, is the phone like, you know, a five or six year old like phone or three or four year old cell phone? Like, is the tablet like the lowest uh, tablet with no storage space, for example, on it. Yeah. Right. So if we're speaking specifically about this, let's just use him as an example. Yeah. He was hardwired. He always, and, and this is part of his life right now, is that he streams to educational facilities, okay. you, you know, and this is a regular thing for him. And he right. says, he's telling us that I never have this problem because when, when he's streaming to schools, uh, you know, he has a one hour program. He mm -hmm. doesn't have that problem. Yeah. He's using whatever Zoom or whatever the school is using. Mm -hmm. but, and he told us, he said, maybe because I never use Chrome. And then that's when I was like, oh, yeah, I forgot. The iOS folks typically have issues. And he was on a computer that was hardwired. Uh, some of the people that use their tablets, mm -hmm. uh, their uh, iPads, a lot of times, they will have an issue coming in, mm. but once they're in, they're in. Be mm. And that's because the the link, the invite link from StreamYard is trying to redirect them to, right, because, yeah. it's trying to redirect them to Safari instead right. of Chrome. Right, so right. that's a browser setting, yeah. They need to adjust, yes. the person doesn't want that to happen, they have to adjust the browser setting on their device. Or instead it, of adjusting yeah. it, they also can just copy and paste it. Yep. What we tell them is just copy and paste the link directly into Chrome and that works. So that way they don't have to go back and remember to adjust their settings. Because most people, they get touchy when we've asked about that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so we just say, okay, we'll copy and paste it directly into. The, the other thing I'm also wondering, so like you mentioned something that I think is kind of key here. Like, yeah, there's. So does the school have limitations as well? Like, is this a school device? Because the other no, things that kind of no, make me wonder. it's not. It's okay. not. It's his own. This is an old man. Like, he's he's not old. Okay. Don't, okay. Uh, don't tell him I did that. So, but my point is, like, he's, a, he's you know, he's older so that yeah. he's been doing this for years, right? As a storyteller in person and live. He had to switch over with everyone else last year to digital life, but he's had a computer forever and, you know, or, and updates his computers or whatever every so often. Yeah. So he's he is definitely simply using his um, Apple computer that's hardwired to his home yeah. internet mm -hmm. that he also uses to stream to schools and when he's streaming to the schools, he's not using their devices because I know that schools have those limitations mm -hmm. on their accounts. Yeah. But no, that's not. Yeah. So, well, here's what I'd say, and I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna bring up. Yeah, we have a lot of comments so coming like, in. <laughs> NLTMW is saying, you know, latency. So this is where there's a delay. It's more of a Wi-Fi cellular network glitch. Like that is possible. Um, and there's also like Coffee Talk and Tech saying there's so many like potential user errors. It's impossible to kind of answer this. That's right. Um, yeah. What I would suggest. I is, did say he's an old guy. There might be a user, a user error. <laughs> well, I, 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 this is what I would do. I would have, if it's, if you, if either you or like if, if, if he can like reach out to our, con, our support team, mm -hmm. I would have them go there. And the reason is because um, I think they can maybe look at the, I don't, I don't know if they have a way to look at logs. And see if there's like a certain, you know, if there was a certain thing happening. I'm not sure if they have the way to look at that, but they may be able to tell like, 
oh, this was the broadcast. This was what we were seeing. Mm -hmm. um, that might be, I think that's where I'd start. Um, because that, because again, like it could be equipment, it could be the network. Like, for example, if he just streamed to, if he was doing a stream to a school and then he came into another stream, like right after that, maybe his router needs to be reset. You know, mm -hmm. what, what type of internet is it? Like right. internet's not the same across the board. Like it could be fiber. It could be, mm -hmm. uh, DS, like DSL, like, um, some services cap your speeds at certain things, you know, right. like all sorts of little settings there, but that's what I would probably advise is to have them reach out and support. Right. Um, to, to like have support actually work with them on checking out their like see what if there's any error logs or anything like that that mm -hmm. popped up because it sounds like it's like either you know it sounds to me like it's either equipment or a network thing yeah and, and i'm not sure if you answered this question but you're always hardwired in right like when you're on with him no, i'm i'm always wi-fi and i'm so i'm i'm definitely outside of what i'm supposed to be doing because i know that hardwire is, is the way to go yeah and we are those folks that don't have ours hardwired and even on that particular stream we were asking the audience hey guys is it us is it him they were like nope it's just him it's not you so that yeah. particular day we were coming through perfectly and that's how we navigated it whenever he froze we would bring up his information bring up comments just right, keep right. going but but yeah we, we are still i would test it out to see if maybe once you be hardwired yourself in to see if there's a difference because the last few weeks i was having internet issues um because i wasn't hardwired in so I got this little jetpack here and that's I'm the, I'm hardwired into my laptop with the jetpack. But try that out and see cuz sometimes when you're bringing on a guest, it does slow down your Wi-Fi. Like I I never go live without being hardwired in, especially if I have a guest on. But um try that out and see if that helps. The, and the last piece of advice I think I'd I'd like to offer on something like this is mm -hmm. um this is to help like so if you know that you're like this is obviously like the importance of doing like a, a uh like a check before the live stream if you notice uh for example that like oh their internet like maybe you know a few days prior their internet doesn't seem like it's you know stable maybe there's like you know parts where it's freezing things like that i would recommend having them use the audio avatar mode mm -hmm. and and oh that's a good idea up. so mm -hmm. like ie upload a photo so that if there is an issue where like their video is freezing, for example, switch them to audio avatar like and see that if idea. that actually, if, if that fixes it. That mm -hmm. tells me right there, if there's an audio, if, if it fixes it and the audio is fine and the video is not, that tells me there's something going on with their network that's bottlenecking that. Right. Because it's not letting enough data come through for the video and the audio. Mm -hmm. But that's what I, I'd recommend, at least trying to kind of be proactive knowing that We've somebody's- done that too. Doing, and that does that always helps. Mm -hmm. um, we we have done that with people in the past. Mm -hmm. yep. there, there was one lady that her connection was so bad that that is what she just right ended up having to do the entire stream. We do prefer faces, but yeah, I mean, what could we do, right? So right. yeah, yes. improvise. That, <laughs> so that's what I would do. I mean, at least for now. But again, reach out to our support team. Uh, they could definitely help. In that uh, in that situation, to kind of look at those error logs and see if there's something that they spot that you know I don't see. So, right. Um, I do want to bring up your YouTube channel real quick. Awesome. And then let's see. So how your oh your streams are wow. Your streams are doing pretty well. Okay, so this is your YouTube channel. So your live streams. Okay, so tell people what's your live stream about, and then if there is there anything that we can try to help you with or. Yeah, so our live streams are, my husband is blind, I'm his wife, so we're the hosts. And as storytellers, we actually talk, we bring other people on to talk about their stories. Okay. So, right. you know, we had a storyteller on, we were actually live, you know, on Friday on location. Uh, that money in music, that guy is making money with his music. So he's teaching us how he can do it, how we can do it, giving tips and things like that. So that's what our guests are, guests are on for. We also open up and close every live stream with a giveaway using the StreamYard giveaway tool. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the Money and Music episode, we wound up doing three. There are some times where our guests are very ambitious and they will say, oh, I'll give away two things. I'll give away three things. Mm -hmm. So, you know, like our first giveaway is pretty much first place bragging rights. 
And mm -hmm. then if our guest is ambitious and motivated, okay, great. We might give away another thing. Awesome. It, yeah, it really increases the engagement because not only is your chat rolling, which is you know what YouTube wants, but we do stream to uh, Facebook and our two YouTube channels, um, excuse me, our two Facebook channels and our YouTube channel at the same time. And it definitely, the giveaways, it gets our Facebook people involved as well. I noticed mm -hmm. they stay on longer. They feel a part of it. And, um, you know, it just keeps everything rolling. And what we've started doing recently is showing who's coming on this week, who's the sponsor okay. this week. So those mm -hmm. are the short videos in between. Mm -hmm. And because we are plant-based, we have plant-based treats is what we call it. Short awesome. two-minute videos to finish each episode. And I have those loaded into the brand section so okay. that I can just, and, and re, that reordering that you, the feature that you added has helped with that because now we, we got a new intro done. Uh, we have found one of our viewers, she's in South Africa, and she created an intro video for us. We hired her and it was all the way down at the bottom because when we started streaming, we didn't have that intro video. We've since you know, added it, but it was at the bottom. Now that we can reorder, we can put that video at the top with our intro, our outro, and everything in the brand section. So thank you for that feature. All right, very welcome. So what's your stream about, by the way? I, I ask because I'm, as I'm reading through like what you have here, mm -hmm. I'm just trying, I'm, I'm trying to like, my mind is like, okay, what are we streaming about here? Because I see like so many different things on your channel. Yeah, it's an interview show where okay. we have, it's like um, a talk show, basically. That's okay. what the stream is. We use it that way. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Um, Letitia, any advice or is, sorry, is there one of the, one of these that has that new intro that you were talking about? Or? Yeah, let's see that. Okay, sure. Um, go to the money and music, I guess. There's one That's that fun. has the intro. All, all of them do except for yesterday okay. because we were live on location and it, we, it was just a little bit different. Okay. And, um, typically it's, a uh, we, we, at the beginning, we say hello. We do not use the countdown okay. because okay. we. I find that I'm not diligent enough to go edit that out. Mm -hmm. So we do a live countdown, so to speak, where we kind of just chat it up for 20 seconds and, hey, everybody, welcome mm -hmm. to the show. Let's say thanks to our sponsors. That's mm -hmm. our countdown. Like a preview, week. yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, um, and then we go into the intro. So usually within the first 30 to 45 seconds, we pull up that the, you'll see the intro video. Okay. I'll get that in a second here. A um, couple of tips for you. I would, I don't know if you've, I don't know if you're using the built-in webcam. Is, is that what you're using on your laptop? Yes. I would, I would suggest either A, if you upgrade that uh, to like an external webcam, or I don't know if you've cleaned off the webcam. Um, it Every might now and then a, we do. And that's because okay. some like even now, I think I need to, but yeah, that's that's the extent of our tech right now is okay. the laptop. Um, I got the moving blankets and when I uh, because that was a suggestion when I was on here yeah. before. Uh -huh. And when I when I put up the avatar, I was like, oh, let me hurry up and put a blanket down. I forgot to do that while I was back here waiting. <laughs> so I, hopefully that helps or yeah. has helped since I've been talking. But go ahead. Thank you. No, I think it's good. Um, Leticia, any advice? Well, definitely. Eventually, I would I would think of maybe niching down a little bit to a specific theme of the channel, but that's going to come from you going back and looking at the viewership and seeing which topics that people are like are totally in love with and they're watching the most. Because I get it, it's a talk show, but you definitely want to create like Christian was mentioning earlier that that rabbit fans of that I'm going to watch this show. I'm going to watch. Um, the, these episodes because they talk about this particular topic or they dive into this particular thing. You know what I mean? Mm. Mm -hmm. I the, know what you mean. Yes. Thank you. The mm. other piece of advice I'd recommend here. So like I pulled up this particular, uh, actually you can't see this here. Yeah. I'm trying sorry, to I should have, actually, sorry. I did, forgot that I actually, that's why I was looking at the little box on the bottom. Sorry. Um, <laughs> sorry, everybody that's watching. I, I meant to bring this up. So uh, they had an intro video going on and then, um, here, let me see. So here's, this was the intro video they had. Sorry about that. So a couple nice. of things I would, I would note here. So this is, let's see, where's your intro video? Wait, wait, we should go to a different one. Cause I look, we look so hazy. Oh my goodness. That's well, 
So, well, no. So, so what I wanted high. actually, what I wanted to highlight actually is a couple of things. So I would, if I were you, you need to probably move this logo. Mm -hmm. And the reason is because when people go live, this logo is actually blocked by the live button. Right, like live right. They light. won't see it. Mm -hmm. It actually shows up in the top left corner on pretty right. much every channel. So it actually covers up your logo. And then you also oh. have a lot of duplicate stuff here. Oh, you know what? I didn't know what I was doing there. So that's where the audience helps. And they told us, like I was showing them a new overlay, yep. but then they told us, they were like, they said, but you said, how many things are we going to read at once? And so, <laughs> and so right. later on in there, I took it, I, I took it down the wrong one. Right. I took down because yeah, I don't know what I'm doing. Like we're learning as we, as we uh, build right. and as we fly and, and the audience definitely helps with that. Yeah. And so, so that'd be some advice I'd give you. And then I'd also say like, for example, for this same one, um, you know, your, your social channels and your schedule are kind of getting cut off. Yeah. So when you're using the ticker, you need to either not have this in, like, I almost would make this part of like a full slide. Right. Like when you actually do the broadcast, when they can follow you, like, so that you, you make it part of your run of show. Mm -hmm. I.e. Mm -hmm. For example, three times, if your show is like one hour, Three times during the show, we're going to bring up that slide, for example, mm -hmm. so that we remind people at the, you know, in the, or let's say it's twice, like part of the way through and then another way through, for example, like that mm -hmm. might be, so that way it's not like, uh, it's not taking over your broadcast. Yeah. Because like, you're mm -hmm. using, you're trying to layer a lot of things, but you're layering stuff and it's like the ticker is covering up. The it's overlay, like they're crashing, like, like a freeway. Yeah. So no, I don't what like, it is, it's a it's a user error for me in Canva. Mm -hmm. But yes, thank you because I hadn't thought about that, Christian, to like put it up in the beginning when we're talking about certain things and then bring mm -hmm. it down so that yep. the show can just run instead of trying to do the most. So got yep. it. And keep it simple. That's the other thing. Like mm -hmm. keep it simple. Like you've got you have a lot of stuff going on on those. Um, so you know, kind of figure out like, for example, you've got your blind guy, his wife, their life like on your little screen there next mm -hmm. to you. You may want to make a full screen overlay of that. Right. Like that could easily be your like opening thumbnail, for example, of every stream. So um I got it. Rather than it just sitting there like that, because uh that I don't know why. You know what? So that's exactly <laughs> that's exactly what I was trying to figure out. Like, I don't like the way it looks when it's just us at the very beginning or the end of the show, mm -hmm. which is why I created that uh, sketchy overlay you were looking at. Mm -hmm. I was trying to fix that problem. Mm -hmm. And yeah. so so I didn't even think like, da -da, just do a banner and keep the banner there. <laughs> and so, man, thank you so much for that. It's like common sense, but it's one of those things where if you're just moving along, yeah, thanks. Yeah. yeah. Well, and, and then the other thing also I do at the end, I haven't looked at the end of yours, but like if I have like, and I'm assuming you're talking about that awkward like pause where you're still mm -hmm. on screen trying to, you're looking for the camera or you're looking for the end broadcast button, right? Mm -hmm. And you're still well, on camera. Um, for something like that, what I typically do is I will run a short outro video. Mm -hmm. And then my next, this is where run of show is super important. Run yes, of show. it is. It's your, it's your process of everything that's going to come up. Mm -hmm. it's scripted out. It's like, okay, this is five minutes. This is two minutes. We and have then you that. Yeah, we do. Getting more granular with your run of show and then right. getting to the point where, okay, at the end, like, you know, every single show, it ends the same. doesn't mm -hmm. matter if somebody's watching it the first time or the 500th episode, you know, thanks a lot for tuning in. We'll see you all next week. Mm -hmm. That's when you run your video. And then in the time of your outro video, you put up that hold screen that might say, thanks for watching, for example, so then that way you're not on screen anymore. Right. With awkward, like, Hey, I'm up here looking for this button, you mm -hmm. know? Right. So that that's it at the very end of our show. Like we finish it with the plant-based treat, which is like a short video. Yep. And then after that video where they see like a tutorial or whatever, mm -hmm. then we say goodbye. And as mm -hmm. we're talking, the only thing on the screen is our name, you know, right, instead right. of a banner, instead of an official looking something. Mm -hmm. And I know what you're saying about looking around for the buttons. I've done that in the past. <laughs> and so we figured out how to seamlessly get to that point, yeah. but not with the name. So mm -hmm. um, I'll, full I'll screen make... overlay. That's what you need. Yeah. Right. So if you right. put the full screen overlay, like for example, I'll do it right now. Like Letitia and I are here, we're all on screen. If I were to click, for example, like the level up summit we talked about, as you can see, there's there's no names, mm -hmm. right? Right. Versus 
if I were to do like a screen share or if I had, you know, if I were using um, the view of just you, for example, you would be on screen like this if you're sharing something. Mm -hmm. so, so and we even did that question when we're shifting even topics. Like, let's say for your show, if you're showing like a featured, like a recipe or something like that, instead of you going straight to it, you'll have like the overlay and then you go to the next thing. Okay. Yeah. Cause that, that lose that awkwardness oh, of us doing this, you. you know, we just <laughs> to find, you know, what we need to find or pull someone up. Well, uh, so you got a lot of people wanting yeah, to so like that. Um, Thank you. One, one last question I have for you. And I just want you to kind of talk about this real quick. Mm -hmm. So you mentioned this earlier, you mentioned, and I, and I remember this, Leticia, I think you do too. Nick, Nick, yeah. come on. Mm -hmm. uh, we talked about bouncing sound. Mm -hmm. Yes. For example. So for example, um, blind guy, his wife and their life, they had, I think your room is tile. Is that right? It's a, it's a sun porch. It's a, yeah. So it's like a cement floor and yeah. oh. holes. And so, yes. And the suggestion was to put down like moving blankets, heavy so I'm moving just, blankets. Yeah, yeah. Heavy moving blankets. Um, the suggestion was to order them from Amazon and you can get moving blankets, you know, anywhere. Mm -hmm. Like next yeah. time you use a U-Haul, don't give it back. You'll pay a way higher price than Amazon, but yeah. I would prefer to get new ones. So go to Amazon y'all. Mm -hmm. And I think you can use any blanket, but because these are kind of, um, tightly woven, yeah. you mm -hmm. know, they absorb the sound differently. So that's why they suggested those also the neutral right. color. I got dark blue. They have different colors on Amazon. Mm -hmm. So I put one right here on the floor underneath everything. And then I also put one over on that side of the room. Right. right. I am, because I noticed that I usually sit on the other side and my husband is usually here. Mm -hmm. And because the wall is right there next to me, the sound bounces more. Yeah. So yeah. usually in our streams, you would hear the echo more with me than with him. Right, right. Yeah, and it exactly. takes us just listening to our streams sometime because we you're not going to hear it when you're live. Like you're not going to hear it. You got to go back and listen to it, and you got you're going to notice like why is my why is my sound off? Like why? Right. And then you know that little easy fix will do tr a tremendous amount of results. Mm -hmm. Right. Thank you for all of the tips and suggestions because um, I know what my show is about. But like you're saying, if you're coming to the channel it's not definitive for mm -hmm. the viewers. And right. so we will definitely work on nailing that down, even if it's as simple as, you know, a description on the banner because we don't have words on our channel art. Mm -hmm. And so that helps. And there's a few other ways that I've seen with watching all of your streams mm -hmm. and the other YouTube people that give tips, uh, YouTube tips. I'll definitely look at that. Right, so that right. Can, um, I mean, the way I solved that is like making like a little tree. And like, I literally did it on my wall and I had post-it notes and I was like, okay, these are all the things that I like to feature and talk about. Like do interviews, like do spotlights. And then I had to like take the, the post-it notes of topics that I really enjoy talking about. And then just started to just narrow them down. Some people do it like a pyramid shape where they make it upside down and they'll have all mm -hmm. the topics at top. And then they're like funnel down like okay bullseye we got cause that's what we're doing when we come with our themes and our and niching down it's like you want to hit that bullseye and say aha that's what i'm talking about that's going to be the theme of the channel and you could still have other cor incorporative like um shows around that i understand but, what you're saying yeah, like if it's, if it's healthy if it's healthy living just just say healthy living because mm -hmm. all of our topics are healthy or whatever mm -hmm. so thank you thank you for that extra extra info i'll work yes. on three and when I say I'm going to work on the tree, I usually say, hey, Corey, what, my, that's my husband. Hey, Corey, what we need is, and then. <laughs> my husband name is Rory. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Corey, Rory. Thank you for joining us. We really appreciate it. Thank and, um, you. Again, make sure you come back. We'll be back yes. on, I think, September. I've got it. I've got it listed here. I think it's in September. And I have to say, I love your yeah. setup. I like the tree. And, and, and where did you get the sign? I think someone Amazon, asked me Amazon. You Amazon. know what? Amazon. And it's it's too far away from the outlet to plug up. And we mm -hmm. saw that when we plugged it up, it was too bright. Yeah. So we just use it this way, Amazon. And I saw another YouTuber using it. I've seen other YouTubers mm -hmm. use it. Um, lit. Most of them are not lit. So I was mm -hmm. like, oh, it's just a great way. And they say different things like subscribe or whatever the channel name is. Right. I've seen that. So Copy and paste is what I say, but thank I've you. I've seen even Charles <laughs> Matthews had the one that rolls. It's like letters. Yeah, there's, 
those are cool. I was like, I need to get oh, me one of those. Okay, I gotta look that up. We'll yeah, next time you see me, I'll have awesome. that. Awesome. Thank you guys. Thank you. Okay, bye. That was bye -bye. really good. Okay, let's see. Um, Just answer some questions. Let's. We got a couple more questions, and we got another one last uh, guest coming on. Actually, That's right. Uh, Miros is going to join us, I think. Yep. So, let's see. Okay, so Marina's asking, quick tip on doing under music again, like having music while someone's saying prayer during a stream. So Ooh. are you using a Mac or are you using a PC? Let's start there. Yeah. Because um, there is, like, there are different. So if you're on a PC, you would use loop back. Mm -hmm. And if you're on a Mac, you would use, um, sorry, I got that mixed up. Oh, sorry. that's what's <laughs> If you're on a you PC. Know, if you're on a PC, you'd use voice meter. And if voice you're on a Mac, you would use loopback. And I've got a couple of different videos actually for you. Let me actually mm -hmm. get these. Yeah, the I like that, one, Marina. That's a good idea. If you're on a Mac, uh, let's just put some comments here. So um, if you're on a Mac, you would use loopback. Uh, if you're on a PC, you would use uh, voice meter. And then... We also have another video. If you're somebody who, there's a little more creative way to do things, but mm -hmm. um, this is background music without software or hardware. Right. Um, and then there's, as I mentioned, there's voice meter as well. And th the reason you need to use these is because basically what they do is they let you route the audio from your music application into your live stream. Mm -hmm. So you can't just like, I mean, you could, some people will open it into a browser tab and play it that way, but uh, using it this way uh, with the software, it's here's the thing. There's usually a small cost to some of these, but the cost outweighs like the amount of time that you have to do to set the other stuff up. Um, and it's just, it's easier. Mm -hmm. Right. And also make sure when you're using some of these you know, different types of music. So for example, you said you want to have, you have music while someone's saying a prayer. Mm -hmm. You also have to make sure you have the right license to the music. Right. Um, because there's, you know, you can't just, for example, I can't just go to Spotify or Apple music or any of those and, and mm -hmm. just play music. I can't just go to, um, for example, if I'm streaming to YouTube, I don't want to go get music from Facebook's free music collection mm -hmm. and try to use it on YouTube because the license doesn't always transfer. Yeah. So you do have to make sure you have the proper license. Right. And um, this is why a lot of people stick to one platform for streaming a lot, because if they simulcast and they'll play it on Facebook, they'll get that little, oh, we had to take down your video, copyright infringement and stuff. So, yeah. She so, said what... Yeah. So, what, is there another follow-up to that? or It's we'll uh, right here. About apps, please. Without apps, please. Yeah, I put the video in there. There is a video. Yep. So, but here's the thing. I will, I'm still going to strongly encourage you, you know, to go with an app mm -hmm. because the apps, like, the ones without the software, without the hardware, they're hacks. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah, they're going to work, but they're workarounds versus mm -hmm. if you just do it the right way, it's so much easier. Like, I agree. for example, if I'm on a Mac and I'm using Loopback, all I do is set it up once. Mm -hmm. And then now I basically go in and I say, okay, I want the Google Chrome browser sound. I want the sound from, if I'm on a Mac, Finder or QuickTime, for mm -hmm. example. And I want those there's two things. Let's see if I can do this right. So I want one piece of music here, one piece of music here. And mm -hmm. then I want to loop them together into one channel that comes into StreamYard. Right, right. And then you could use that also for other things as well that you're doing. So if you're like, hey, I want to do, uh, you know, I need to, if I'm doing another call, for example, on something else, I can loop the same thing into that as well. So it's mm -hmm. a lot easier, I think, when you use that process. Right, right. That's very true. Um, let's see. And then... Uh, and yes, yeah, NLTMW mentioned, yeah, lawyers help music copyright holders sue churches. Yeah, so that's, <laughs> it's important. No, it's important to yes, mention. I'm laughing like because he's telling the exact truth. That's so accurate. It doesn't so matter accurate. if you're a church. Like, that, they don't care. They, it's a money thing. Yeah. It doesn't mean that you can do something different from everyone mm -hmm. else. Like, they still want you to do things the, the right way. way. You got to be in compliance no matter what business yeah. style you have or um, type of channel you have. Yeah. And... And uh, let's see, there's another, some more feedback here as well from, let me find this one. Pepe uh, Figueroa, a uh, friend of mine saying, uh, adding background music, you can use a Chrome extension and share with audio as well. Yep. Mm -hmm. Again, 
lots of options to do the sharing, you still have to get the license to the music. Exactly. Yeah. Absolutely. We have one. Um, I don't know if you saw Star TV. Good morning. I am consistently yes, getting yeah. an echo when I have a guest on my live. You got like I had the same issue. It was really on the guest end. They have to hit that echo cancellation. That's how I resolved it. And them having both headphones. you should put yeah both you and the guest yes, should put echo cancellation on. Mm -hmm. That's in your Streamyard broadcast. Mm -hmm. So here, let me see if I can show yeah. that. And so they have that on and just making sure that the guest has headphones on too. That helps tremendously. Yeah. The headphones are like key. Oh, so here I'm going to mute this and I'll show you what this looks like. So for example, if, if she needs to turn on um, echo cancellation, I have this pulled up. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to go into my studio here. Let me take your comment down. Yeah. I'll, I'll take it down already. Yeah. <laughs> so I go to cam mic settings and I'm going to go down to audio and I'm going to check echo cancellation. Mm -hmm. So you just simply check it, uh, make sure you have it on, make sure your guest has it on again, like unless you've got a high quality mic and you're wearing headphones uh, or don't have guests, mm -hmm. you really should leave this on. Yeah. And it does some of the echo cancellation. It does some of the noise suppression and some of the auto gain controls. Right. But if you're doing a podcast or if you're a musician playing music, uh, like an instrument, you may want to turn that off. Right. So that's how she would go about doing that. Okay, cool. I think we got time for one more guest, right, Letitia? Yes, we do. We okay. have, um, hope I'm so Miros, right. give me a Miros, thumbs up yes. if you're good. Are you good to come in? Awesome. awesome. I'm at her. How are we doing, Miros? Oh, hi. I'm, I'm a little bit nervous. <laughs> don't, okay. be. Don't, don't be. Don't be. Just pretend well. it's just it's us. Just pretend it's us. <laughs> it's too much. It's, it's so it's so nice to have this opportunity. Well, my my channel is about human rights and okay. discrimination and right of be, um, of not being discriminated. Yeah. I I'm a user of a psychiatric and alert medical alert service dog, okay. and I'm from Mexico. Obviously, my channel is in Spanish. Okay. And the main the main thing we we face in our daily basis is discrimination. That's why I began with this channel. Okay. Right. But in YouTube, I only have a couple of months. Okay. Uh, before of that, uh, we were like in a broadcast, a radio broadcast. Okay. Mm -hmm. So uh, I, what I have done is all the records I have uh, okay. to begin to put it in my channel. But I want to begin to, with, with life. We, I I already made some so a couple of live streaming with obviously with Streamyard and yeah. and, uh, and thank you because it's a, a very nice application a very nice platform to mm -hmm. do lives lives awesome. uh, live shows uh, but only with me but on on ne next week I will have one with a guest so I'm very nervous mm -hmm. and I also want to. In this opportunity, that if you can give me some advice, I I know I have to change, <laughs> uh, to still change a lot of things in my channel and improve a lot of things, but I I would like to know from you the experts, <laughs> what can I do? Uh, I already heard a lot of stuff that will yeah. help me for the for the life next week. Uh, about the hardware and all that stuff, I I, I already uh, took uh, notes about notes. that. But okay. I, I I have that uh, that um, I want to have your your feedback. Sure. Uh, the main thing is that uh, my channel is not like other channels from that they, they speak about uh, uh, artists and all that or, or gossip and. It's okay. very easy mm -hmm. to, for the people to come and stay. For me, it's a little bit difficult to get some audience, but my audience that comes to my channel, they stay. Mm -hmm. they don't go anymore. So, but I need more because I want that YouTube uh, makes more improvement to my channel because it's, it's information, very good information. Right. For people to stop discriminating in, in any way, no? So what channel is it I'm pulling up? I'm on, I went over to YouTube. I pulled up your Miros uh, channel with three videos. Is that the right one? No, the, the it's YTD radio. 
Okay. And that's the other thing. My my the the whole name of the program is "Y tú también discriminas." It was too wide, and I already had this YTD radio, the short name, and okay. that's what I put put on uh, as name channel name. I know it's no exactly uh, YTD okay, radio. Okay, I see. Okay, so I I, I, I know got... it's not a so, such great name, but well. That's what I already had for two years in Facebook. What, yeah. okay. YTD stands for what? E2. Es, e, y tú también discriminas. Yeah. Okay, got it. Okay, so let me pull this up. There we go. I think I got the right one, right? Exactly. Perfect. Okay, cool. So what should I look at first? If I'm going to look at, so are, are you doing pre-recorded videos or streamed up here? Pre-recorded, and I have a couple of uh, of live streaming, but only by myself. I will begin okay. next Saturday with a guest, and I'm very nervous about. It. <laughs> hey, let's see. So, if I had to give you just some initial feedback, I'd say from a thumbnail standpoint, I like all the color. Um, mm -hmm. I think there's a lot of text on a lot of these. Yeah. So, for example, I would like. I wish I had that like drawing tool on here. But like this yeah. group right here, actually, let me see. We got to get that drawing tool. <laughs> well, Tisha, I'm gonna let, let me let you keep talking while yeah, I- Yeah, absolutely. I <laughs> you know, when you mentioned the guests, right? You know, with guests, I feel like when I go live with a guest, I, I, have, I can sit back more a little bit because one of the keys to having guests on your show is that you got to let the guests shine, you know? So you want to ask some questions and get them to say, listen, be as detailed as you want with the question. Like for me, when guests come on and they just do like one answer type of one answers to my questions where I'm like, oh, hey, you know, how did you develop your process? And they just say one thing. Like I want them to go into detail. So that's one thing you want to do like a pre-guest prep and let the guests know, listen, when you come on, it's going to be like spotlighting you and really highlighting your intellectual property and what you know and what you have to contribute to your community. As you mentioned, you have people who watch your show who watch it a lot and who stick at watching it. So I think that's another thing. It's like, you, you want to have that sort of sick back approach. Like a lot of times, you know, I don't want to mention no names, but I see some people have guests come on and they're over talking them and they're cutting them off and things like that. And it just gets frustrating mm -hmm. for me, us as a viewers to, to you, like you, if you have a guest on, let them talk. Uh, another thing with, um, you mentioned that you have people that come on the show and they stay. Um, get them to share. I keep saying it. Like, hey, guys, go to the share link below and pass the link on so you can get more people to watch, you know, to just to get the viewers to promote the show organically. Okay. okay oh, you so, got, you so got, I got it. A draw, I have a drawing tool. So I'm Woo! using this it's, it's a Google up. Chrome extension called Draw on Page. Um, sorry, I haven't quite <laughs> figured out the, the width <laughs> and all the other stuff that goes I, with I it. have a little problem also with my with my content. Uh, okay. All, all the all the different topics are not less than an hour, uh, two hours. So mm -hmm. uh, I got this. Um, okay. Somebody tell me why do you don't uh, make like cuts or two hours okay. in mm -hmm. different chapters? Okay. Mm -hmm. And that's what I've I've done some chapters from the. You can see the whole thing together the two hours okay. or. In, in in five chapters and that what you already outlined yeah is, is the main okay. one and with the different chapters and what I, I thought okay it's almost the same but with different colors right right to make a, a okay. difference but i i don't know so or the, the only ahead. thing i was going to highlight here actually was really just it wasn't any of that actually it was the fact that i couldn't actually read the text on these ah, okay. thumbnails because mm -hmm. you've got um, you've got like a gradient background and then like that doesn't, this does not stand out to me. I'll tell you what does stand out to me and I got to, oh, good. I know. Yeah, that. share it again, Christian. Oh yeah. Thanks. <laughs> All right. I, um, so what, what I was saying was what does sort of stand out to me was the fact that like with these, for example, like with these three, yeah, these in particular, like the text, I was having a hard time reading this. Okay. That was what I was right. I'm like this because there's a lot of text and it's hard mm -hmm. to see. This I actually like this. Yeah. Sorry for my crude drawings here, everyone. That's good. But I do like this. And these actually stand out to me as well. These pop. Mm-hmm. Because there's some texture to the background. Yeah, the ones at the top stood face, out. To me. Like 
There's still a lot of text on these. And right? the guest picture is bigger. Like the ones on the bottom, the three on the bottom, their pictures are very small, so you can't really see. But maybe making the guest picture a little bit bigger as okay. well with the text. Yeah. And, and in terms of like, okay, so in terms of, let's find one of the streamed ones. Okay. So let's actually pull this one up. Okay. That's my life one. My first okay. life. So a couple of ways you could, if you, so here's some tips to like, if you want to enhance these, I know you're, looks like you're using the StreamYard countdown timer that we have in the dashboard. Mm -hmm. uh, you could, if you're a Canva user, for example, do you use Canva or Easel? I have a, already an intro video with, okay. with original music. So I don't have problems with license. Okay, cool. Okay. Um, awesome. No, that's good. Mm, very good. So where is that intro video? Is it on here or no? No, sadly not. not, not uh, oh yes. You can see them in other in other videos, okay. in any video, is the is the first. Okay. So how come it's not on that one? How come it's not no. on the derecho? Because it was. I, I didn't manage to uh, put the video in the stream yet. Okay. <laughs> That's why I didn't have it. But I I, I hope. Okay. That it will be no problem for the next sure. one. So let's talk about like let's talk about small little incremental improvements. So I think okay. the first thing would be. Okay, and this is a, like this is an easy weekend project. You know, yeah. like Home Depot always says, like, "Hey, here's a weekend do-it-yourself project." <laughs> this is an easy weekend project. So let's get that video inside uploaded to your StreamYard dashboard. Okay, so mm -hmm. for example, if the video is as long as it's 200 megabytes in under 10 minutes, you can go to the brand section. Are you familiar with that? Mm -hmm. Okay, yes. so you can go to the brand section and you can upload the video there. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then that would allow you to bring it directly like, and then I would, this is what I would do. Uh, I'll show you how I do this. So I do this. I bring up my overlay. Okay. I hit go live. I let it wait. I wait about 20 seconds. Mm -hmm. So everything can kind of catch up. And then I play the video. For example, I'll play a different one. For example, I play this. And mm -hmm. then while that's going, I turn off the overlay so that now we're on screen yes Does this make sense uh, okay yes mm -hmm. so we're already okay. on the screen before that last video was showing does that make sense mm -hmm. yes Good? yes yes to okay. totally thank you so let's get your intro video let's get that loaded if the video is too long or it's too large uh there is the share option at the bottom as well where you can just say share video file mm -hmm. and you go through the same process right Yes, my, my intro video, I think, is uh, 40 seconds. It's okay, cool. okay. Cool. Easy. Yeah, that's more than enough time to get everybody on and, you know, have everything on screen. So, and then that way you don't even need the countdown timer if you mm -hmm. want to. Like, you literally don't need the countdown timer. You anymore. don't. Like, I was having an no. intro and a countdown, and I took off the countdown. I was like, well, we have an intro. That's it. That is the countdown. Okay, yeah. Yeah. perfect. So that's, let's see, that's, I think the first thing I do there. Let's mm -hmm. see. My um, thumbnails, like Tom Nash says, I, I need to work. Yes, I know. <laughs> yeah, because I don't know if you saw Adam Exploits um, comment. He said also something like 90% of views come from smartphones and tablets. Thumbnails needs to be formatted for, oh, okay. for that. So even when I make a thumbnail for my um, stuff, um, I would like look at it on my phone and see how it looks. And I'm actually going to do this right now while we're talking. So, mm -hmm. Leticia, keep keep driving things. I'm Absolutely. actually I'm plugging my phone in so I can yeah, show you. You mentioned something about topics. Story. Like, are you talking about different topics in one show? Because if that's the case, you can make that show like multiple shows. Like, if there's a show mm -hmm. where you are going to talk about multiple things, maybe, you know, have it be a series. Because that's what I do. I'll, mm -hmm. I'll make like an interview series or just a series in general just to talk about each topic on each series. So it's broken up yes. rather than doing the timestamps. I mean, that's one way just to have more content, just sort of like break it up. Yes, for example, um, a couple of, of weeks ago, I had this, uh, this uh, program about pandemic mm -hmm. uh, through the story. Mm -hmm. through history sorry mm -hmm. uh, so it, 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 always see, uh, they are four or five chapters i al already try to do uh, always five chapters mm -hmm. so each chapter is not more than 20 minutes mm -hmm. it's, it's not easy to make it lower because each topic about human rights you need to explain a lot of things mm -hmm. lot of, so for example in this pandemic uh, series uh, each uh, chapter speaks, uh, for example, the first one is about 
pandemic uh, topics in in his in the ancient history yeah with the so that could be like part one and the second was about the, yeah. uh, uh, how do you say um, w with our pre hispanic ancient yeah. uh, with ancestors mm -hmm. then the the actual one then the the, the other chapter was about the flu the yellow flu right right and so so they are already i could make a chapter of each one mm -hmm. without problem but i i really to do the thumbnails then i don't yeah. know what to do or to work with the with the theme with the mm -hmm. i have to say with the title mm -hmm. right because I can and, uh, use yeah. a lot of uh, the word of discrimination. Right, so right. Sometimes he's, oh, yeah, I blew up. I know you guys will work around. Oh, but you also got to look back at your analytics and see if people are not hanging out for two hours, then you have to yes. sort of break up your content. So mm -hmm. that's why I say if you're going to do something with chapters, maybe the title of the video can be, you can have part one. This video or live would be about the, the first chapter. Then the second video will be about chapter two, which will be part two. Because again, you want people, the replayers and the people who come alive, you want them to stick around because that's what YouTube ranks too, is how long people are watching your videos. And if they're not watching the whole 20 hours, then you gotta say, well, I need to break it up to make sure they're absorbing all of this information. You know, because yep. what's the point of doing it if they're missing all these intricate points? Mm -hmm. And there's a, there's a lot of actually, I'm gonna bring up mobile here in a second, but I mm -hmm. wanna find a couple of, good comments here so yeah. tom nash is saying keep working hard and you'll get better don't that's this right is, and i can't stress this enough love this advice tom mm, like, we're so critical of ourselves it's like oh my god like don't feel here's it's the thing like, like no. i we're we're here to help also right. by the way. so Thank you. like it's all about like so here's the thing everybody starts their live streaming journey at a different point mm -hmm. and you know, again, it's also about coming together as a community and helping like work through some of these different things, mm. for example. And there's obviously there's a lot of different things here, uh, you know, and it's not to say like, oh, well, you have to do everything at once. Like I said, let's tackle a weekend project. So mm -hmm. let's get that video uploaded. For example, people yes. are giving suggestions about thumbnails. So I want to actually bring up your your um, your YouTube channel on my mobile phone. Mm -hmm. And so this is what it looks like. Mm -hmm. OK, and so this is what I'm seeing on my mobile phone. And so I'll tell you right now, there's there's definitely a lot of text going on on these. Mm -hmm. And you have to think of it like this. Your thumbnail, like the text that goes on these thumbnails and the title, they don't need to be, they don't actually need to be the same thing for mm -mm. starters. Like the text could just be the teaser to get people to then read the title. Right, right. Okay. So for example, I'm going to just scroll through a couple of these. Like, as I mentioned, this pink one really pops to me, Right. Pop and pink. So that pops to me. Like again, I I don't even the part that's in the top, I think it's this uh I think that says uh Siri. Is it series? Is that what that's saying? I can't yeah. even read that actually. Yeah, S E R I E. So whatever's in this top left corner, let me put my little pen tool back on. So uh -huh. this right here, I can't see that. Oh, okay. Like, yes. I can't read that at mm -hmm. all. Yeah, I can't read it. I'm on mobile and I can't read it. So, um, mm. but this one down here, for example, this one's a little more legible on mobile, but it's not, again, there's still a lot going on. Like what's the point of having all this text on there? Does that make sense? Okay, yes. So I think part of it is gonna be simplifying these. For example, I'm gonna scroll through these. Like, for example, if this one, uh, Miedo Epidemia uh, de la Era Moderna, for example, if Luis is the star of this episode, we should probably make him bigger. Oh, yes. And oh, use okay. less text. Yes. And again, okay. these are partly for like, these are pre-records, but this same principle applies it's to your It's the same thing, no matter if it's a live or pre-recorded. But for true. example, Luis is a, is a great historian guy. Uh, okay. I have him in a lot of programs, so... Okay. How to make the difference? If, because I don't want that uh, they see one thumbnail and they think, oh, they are all the same. That's why I changed. That's fine the too. I mean, it, again, it's about um, that's not what people are going to think. Like, oh, it's the okay. same. You know, they're not going to consider that. Really, it's about if they look at it, it instantly gives them like a preview of what the show's going to be about. 
And I'm going to bring up some uh, great comment from Tom Nash. He says he has a three word max rule. Oh, I like that. Three, three word max rule. Thumbnail. Like Thank that. You, Tom. <laughs> Good idea to do that. <laughs> so I'm three words, maybe you do five. But like the other thing also, I would strongly encourage you to do like, for example, so I'm scrolling through your videos. So for example, I will say this. I actually like this one right here. This estas listo para hablar. Oh, like, good job, Christian. Ooh. I like Are you that. you ready one. to talk? He has it. Thing. I like that one because it's asking me a question and it's not, there's my eyes are immediately drawn to the text mm -hmm. versus there's five different pieces. Of, like, for example, this next one, there's, you know, and this is not your channel, but there's a lot of text on these. Mm -hmm. okay. So that to me, like, even this one, for example, como sacar uh, la violencia de tu vida. For oh. example, that's actually not bad. But the text that's this is, I don't say bad. Maybe I shouldn't say bad. No. Um, what I mean, but like this. They're loving example. your Spanish, Christian. Yes, I love okay. your Spanish. Thank you. The Thank people you. in the comments. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, everyone. Mm -hmm. But for example, I can't read this text. For example, what I could do in this thumbnail in, about violence is yep. to take out all the all the other uh, text. Only let the only leave the one, the big one with the yes. picture of mm -hmm. the uh, of the guest. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ah, and then if you want to spice this up a little bit, so you see how the estas listo one, so the one underneath it. So you see how on this one you have like the background has a little bit of sort of a pattern to it yeah like a transition you could use mm -hmm. something like a pattern or a texture behind mm -hmm. this mm -hmm. something very subtle that doesn't overpower the text exactly because that blue in the background that's overpowering but the second one is like is soft uh -huh. and i'm paying more attention to the text and the color in the background so that's you have some fans on here as well very nice <laughs> interesting so yes. that's yeah so that's um by the way, I'm switching, by the way, for those of you who do ask, I'm switching using eight, eight and many pro with my phone plugged into that. Mm -hmm. um, that's how I'm doing that. Cause switching. you know, they're going to ask, why did he do that? <laughs> oh, that it's great. Whether you, all, all the stuff you're t telling me, because I, I, I think, uh, my first, uh, thumbnails, uh, Tom would, would, uh, not speak to me. <laughs> No, <laughs> if, if he saw the first one, we're like, ah! <laughs> I, I, I have been changing them, but I have to improve all of that you say to me. Thank you very much. <laughs> You're welcome. Oh, and, You're anytime, and, I, and the other thing is, Leticia, you mentioned this earlier. Mm -hmm. um, so, and Zori, I'll get to your question here in a second in English, though, but I'll get to your question. <laughs> um, <laughs> so... The other thing also to remember about, you know, just your thumbnails, like mm -hmm. for example, it's a, it's a process. Yes, it is. So you're always, you always should be trying to improve and get better at it, mm -hmm. you know, with everything that you're doing. And again, I mean, like if you look at, you also have to think about your data, look at the data, look at the for, data, like your live streams. So for mm -hmm. example, if you're streaming to YouTube, go into YouTube analytics and you'll be able to see what your top videos are. Mm -hmm. So oh, yes. like you'll be able to see the top videos. Mm -hmm. Actually, let me see. And that's see. what you really should be judging yourself by is the oh, data. Yeah. Cause like I said before, but like we're so overly critical on ourselves. I, and, and I always, I always say this mantra all the time. I was like, how I, how I'm so successful is because I don't involve Letitia anymore. Like I go into YouTube and look at my analytics. You know, I go into my email marketing workstation. I look at my click throughs and my open rates. And I take this brain out of the equation and just look at the data and go from there. Because if you're just involving yourself too much, you're not going to improve. You're going to keep coming back here every week, every week, and wanting to know an uh, answer to the problem. And sometimes we're the problem. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, we got to yes, take no. out of the equation. And even with my thumbnails, I take myself out of that equation and, and, and become comfortable with changing my thumbnails all the time until I find one that's like, okay, this is perfect. And sometimes I'll put a thumbnail up and I'll see how it looks. And then I'm like, I don't like that anymore. Let me do something different, you know? So it's just take yourself out of the equation sometimes. And it's, yes. it's taking you, yourself Leticia. out of the equation, but it's also 
-hmm. like don't be don't be critical of your like that's the biggest thing we're so that's critical so of ourselves big. i'm lawyer you know i'm a lawyer i'm, I'm an ip and mm -hmm. rights lawyer yeah. so i mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah so, yeah hold on, hold on. so okay <laughs> so here, no no i'm gonna i'm gonna give you some advice here like drop it you are an ip an intellectual property lawyer right mm -hmm. yes like okay so here's the thing you need to like, I haven't watched your live streams, but make sure that you talk about that adds credibility to what you're doing. Mm -hmm. Yes, it does. Oh. Say that so, all like, the time. At the beginning, you should be like, you know, hey, I'm Maria Cis, uh, Maria uh, Miro Cisne. Cisne, and <laughs> I'm an IP lawyer, for example. You're uh... adding instant credibility to what you're talking about. People are going to want to listen to you because you have the advice. If I said, hey, I want to talk about IP intellectual property, but I have no credentials for that. Who has more, you have much more like credibility than I would. That's right. For example. Wow. So you need to sell times, that credibility yeah, to people. You have to. A lot of times we don't want to say it because it, it, it feels like we're bragging. Mm -hmm. And that's not the case. Yes. And I always say it's okay to brag. You know, the, the, the reason why I had issues with, with talking about my credibility because I because of the church background, we were told you don't want to brag. You don't want to boast. Can't do that. That's a no, no. So I grew up thinking like, oh, no, I'm not going to tell people my accomplishments. I'm not going to talk about things I've done because I don't want to make other people feel bad. But then that's mm -hmm. not good because people are not going to know that you are qualified to help them. And you have years of experience at what you do. So let's talk about it. So I want to and I have a comment I want to bring up from Tom Nash here real mm -hmm. quick. But I also yes, want to bring up the I channel. love Tom. Yeah, Tom so is amazing. I'm going to bring up your channel, though, again. OK, so we were talking about like. So, Ooh, like once you now, so once you now told okay. me you're a lawyer, <laughs> for example, so I like that you told me that, like, that's yes. fantastic actually, because that adds instant credibility. And I wanted to check out like, okay, so when you're on screen or you're showing up like me, I'm in a t-shirt, for example, or are you showing up like dressed up like you're, you know, you're a lawyer, for example, and yes. you obviously are. So, you know, I think this is like, so I think this is good that you're talking, that you're on screen talking about this. Um, like, again, I mean, you've got, like, you've got people, like, I don't know if you have a production, if you have somebody that can produce with you. I like, would you do can, a photo no, shoot alone. right away, girl. Let's I see. was totally so you're, alone. <laughs> so you seriously alone. And so for two hours, is this you on screen the whole time, two hours? Yes, but uh, there is a lot of interaction with the chat. Okay. Cool. Yes, okay. there is. You've got great interaction. Look at this. Go ahead. Did I lose you? No, I am here. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, I was Actually, like Actually <laughs> also with the recorded the programs that I uh I put the premiere on in on YouTube. Yeah. We have the yeah. chat live. So a lot of people are, are staying in my in my channel because every every Wednesday they know they will have the chat during the premiere of the program. Mm -hmm. This one so, we are seeing it's it's totally live. I, I think these are good. So a couple little pieces of advice. I I noticed you just put the ticker on. I was how far was I through? So I was I was almost through your whole broadcast, by the way. And around the one about seven minutes left in the broadcast, the ticker went on. Mm. I would encourage you to run that ticker the whole time. Sorry for the bad freeze frame there. Um <laughs> I, I would encourage you to put the ticker, the scrolling ticker, put that on the whole time. I think this is really good. Okay. So like run that ticker, for example, have a couple different ones set up maybe to run throughout. So you can, you know, if you're driving, for example, if this is streaming to YouTube, encourage people to go to YouTube to subscribe to the channel. If, yeah. if Twitter's where you want to drive them to, encourage them to go follow you on Twitter. I I had it, but I forgot to put it. <laughs> I've been using lately the end screen a lot. Like I will go back and just add that end screen so people can subscribe to my channel. You, I know those of you are watching like, duh, but you'd be surprised how many of us don't add an end screen. We don't go back and add it. No, you, you do need it. You should add an end screen here. Yeah. For example. And it's so easy. Oh, my God. Is you like, so when seconds. you get to the end, let's see. So if I get to the end, I'm going to play the last couple seconds here. Yeah. Zoe says she always forgot to do that. Yeah. So we're going to play this till the end. And I'm, I'm assuming there's probably some sort of sign off. Thanks a lot for tuning in. Mm -hmm. We'll see you all whenever's next. So okay. sometimes you can keep the same in screen. Like to go check out my next video. Go here. Like you can point and stuff. So. 
Yeah, so you need, so I would suggest, um, so at the end, I would suggest having the end screen. So build the intro, the, the custom thumbnail at the beginning, build the uh, end screen at the end. So that way, when you do your final sign off, you know, hey, this is Miros Sisne. Uh, Thanks a lot for tuning in where we talked about X, Y, and Z. I'll see you all whenever that next time is. Put up your, even if it's just a static hold screen at the end, Thanks for watching, for example. Uh, obviously, put that in Spanish because that's your audience. Put mm -hmm. that up. And then you can end your broadcast. You don't have to, like, you could do your little sign off, but end the broadcast at that point with the hold screen. It'll look nicer. Mm -hmm. um, and then I just want to go, I want to run through some of these comments from people because these are this yeah. is really good advice. And the end, so, people, yeah, end screen is so easy, guys. Somebody asked how to do it. Just hit end screen and follow the directions from there. It's okay. so easy. It takes two like, seconds. You you literally can go into Canva, for example, make mm -hmm. your overlay. Mm -hmm. I uh, have already a, an overlay. I oh, perfect. With the re pre recorded ones. So we need and the 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 things from YouTube, the channel yeah. button, and fix perfectly. <laughs> cool. Awesome. No, that's fantastic. I want to. Uh, so so it sounds like we just need to. So that's part of your weekend project. Let's add that. Uh, yes. in the, add that in your streamer <laughs> dashboard. Uh, I'm totally like, if you want to private message me, if you're like, Hey, I'm stuck and I need help, you can okay. private message me and I'll, yeah. I've got time. Yeah. Um, if ever um, me on Facebook. So let me run through some of these comments from our viewers. They've got good suggestions for she you. She has as well. fans on here too. I see. By the way, Letitia, <laughs> I think we need to get people to like, I think we need to start encouraging note taking. Uh, hopefully everybody's doing it, but encourage note taking for these shows because I'm, I'm even learning a lot here. So me too. Tom says, and, and this is excellent um, advice. Yes, it is. <laughs> do content. So this is playing off your background. Do content about legal stuff related to YouTube, like fair use, et cetera. So for example, if I, I have, I would love to be able to have somebody talk about, you know, using music in live streams. Like, I don't know if, if you, if you can talk about that, but yes. like, for example, if you could, Hey, let's talk. Cause I'd love to have, you know, I'd love to have somebody talk about that, but and all, yeah, go ahead. That is information that you can use to add additional types of videos to your YouTube channel. And if you oh. want to bring, if you want to open a couple of shows up for Q and A, have people come on and ask you questions. You're a lawyer, so you you like you know how many people come on shows and be like, well, I don't have any legal. I'm not a lawyer. I can't give legal advice, but this is what I suggest. Like you don't know what they're saying is accurate, right? And you in how much misinformation is out there on the internet right now. So them coming to you, you know, that's a win-win. Yep. But it's interesting that about IP to make a, 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 a little uh, extra uh, and, and take, talking about uh, IP stuff. Mm -hmm. I, I, mm -hmm. my, my, all, always my purpose is it was totally social, but it, I think working your zone of genius. It, yes. It lets you get into like it, it again, it adds credibility. And here's the thing, all your episodes don't need to be about intellectual property. For mm -hmm. example. Mm -hmm. Like it could be, it up. you could do. And again, like once a month, Hey, I'm just going to talk about intellectual property. Mm -hmm. And then you focus on your other core, for example. Mm -hmm. But I do have to, I do think Tom's advice on focusing on related to like YouTube, like fair use. Like I can tell you right now, you will get tons of views on that stuff because mm -hmm. people want to know that. Um, yeah. Another little tip from Adam's exploits, by the way, he says uh, you might want to say intellectual property as well. I know what IP is. I think you know, Letitia, you do as well. Mm -hmm. um, but mix that up in your, you know, uh, like when you're putting in the text, for right. example, is somebody going to look up like what is IP law? Or are they going to look up, for example, let's just think from a user standpoint. Um, uh, how do I like, uh, what is intellectual property? Like that could be a video in itself. Like what yeah, is intellectual can. property? Mm -hmm. okay. um, let's see. So and your thumbnail will be like this, a picture of you like, ah, like sometimes I would just be, you know, on one of my walls here is just white. So I'll just make little action shots of myself. Another tip from Tom Nash here. Tom, by the way, we have to have you on sometime. Yeah, uh, as far Tom. as your backdrop, again, this is, this is a, these are good suggestions. As far as your backdrop, an office backdrop, We'll add more brand credibility. That's an option. So, uh, for oh. example, you know you're you're dressing the part, which is great. Yeah. Now it's putting you in the same setting, the right setting mm -hmm. as well. 
Mm -hmm. and oh, yes, yes, okay. Super easy. Like, it doesn't have to be something complicated. It could be, you know, for example, you could get a, I, I'm sure this exists. There's probably a printed vinyl backdrop. Yes, there, this probably looks is. like bookshelves with fancy books on it. Mm -hmm. Or a green screen. <laughs> that right there would be like super easy thing. Or if, for example, in your room, your room has four walls, one of those walls could just be a bookshelf with some books on it for example maybe you got a gavel or sorry that'd be if you're, if you're a judge okay. but yeah i'd be a judge for that stuff yeah. for ip you know intellectual property law mm -hmm. for example you know you could put that in there things like that that are going to add to your credibility like okay um let's see so um, you even said one show christian about a moving set like you can have yeah. a, i'm a rolling set yeah where some people you alive, that, like, you roll it. for example if you do two like let's say you did a live stream about cooking like we had a guy at the beginning of the show talk about football okay mm -hmm. so he was talking about american football and so let's say he does a live stream about football and he does another live stream about personal finance right okay? so what he could do is you could do the same thing you basically build a wall and like there's like a um like you can make pvc pipe out of this you put on some wheels mm. and one side is all about the football side and then uh, you just rotate it around and the other side is the finance side yeah it's like a studio. and then that way when you put it behind you it looks like you're in that setting even mm -hmm. though it's something you can just roll out of the way does that make sense yes totally thank you let's see what else do we have uh, i have a, a lot of homework <laughs> <laughs> but I, feel like, I just feel like the weight's been taken off it's not so bad now. actually i don't think so at all it's great yeah Oh, and then Tom also, more advice from Tom here, by the way, uh, he uh, would suggest. Yep, I totally agree with him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep, no, I think that I think that you definitely should um, should make sure you disclose that. Yep. Um, let's see, El Show, uh, El Show Day for Villa Maravilla. How well does it run StreamYard? Uh, how well does StreamYard run on a Chromebook? You can use a Chromebook. Um, it depends on what kind of advanced things you want to do. Like if you want to get into using uh, like a green screen and that's where it removes the background behind you and you can replace it with a picture. You do need something that has a stronger graphics card for something like that. But the key thing is keep it simple. That's right. Um, let's see. Your, your Spanish is really great. It's really, it's way better than mine. <laughs> it's much better than my yeah. English. Yeah. <laughs> let's see what else we got here. Um, Another suggestion: move the modem. So, oh yes, because my modem is in the bedroom and my Ethernet is. I okay. have to be there, but I, I have. To oh, be I see. Because the cord is not going to go that far. Yeah. So, uh, another little bit of homework: you can either get this on Amazon or you can go to like a micro center or a place like that. Um, okay. Go buy yourself an Ethernet cable. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, I'd yes, recommend getting like a Cat Six cable. Cat Six. So it, it used to be cat five, but it's moved up to like cat six. So if you have uh, internet like fiber or things K -A -T like that. K-A-T or C-A-T? C-A-T. Mm -hmm. So if you get one of those kinds of cables, uh, for example, I think I have like 150 feet of cable. I literally just mm -hmm. run it to my router. Um, you know, you could get the flat one that you could put around doors. Like you can do a nice, like, it doesn't have to be this long cable running on the floor, but I'd always buy more cable than I need. Oh, I see. Okay. Don't buy like 50 feet and then you're like, oh man, it's like super tight. Like actually buy, you know, I think it was, I think I might have paid 20 or $30 for that much cable, but um, get something like that. Use, so like, that way strips to yep, you can do it. exactly that. Or you can mm -hmm. run it around. If you get the flat one, you can run it around door frames mm -hmm. and things like okay. that are on oh. your crown you molding. You can run it on the crown molding. Let's okay, see. Yes. Um, Great. Because I have those I have five kids, so if I put it on the floor, they're just gonna fall over it, and so I get it. So I'm gonna I'm gonna throw out another suggestion. This is uh, this is again this is very this is something you could totally use. Um, is there somewhere to find uh, legal disclaimer templates? The channel's not monetized. I'm not worried about copyright, but I need to make a disclaimer that my channel includes offensive humor. For example, this mm. could be something that you could potentially offer to people. Oh, interesting. So, yes, sir. You could be like, hey, you know what? I'm a lawyer. I can create these templates for you, or you probably already have them. And then you could, you could, this could be a way to build your audience. Come for through, Coach Christian. Or build your YouTube channel, build your subscribers. <laughs> hey, somebody subscribes to my email list. I now, you're now building a list. 
And Grab hey, I'll send you now. the free template. Let's oh, see. What else? What else? Great. I love that. Oh, I, I have a lot of. <laughs> no, no, no. Not at all. No, but it's great because I, I didn't saw that uh, other uh, other theme that I could get into mm -hmm. because I was only focused with my human rights and all yeah. this discrimination stuff. So. But it's also human. You can rights. still be human rights, but yes, then course. also let people know other things you can do. Because the ones who want to watch for human rights, they want then they see that you do other things as well. They're like, mm -hmm. oh, okay. You know, I didn't. You know, they may want to hire you or want to yeah. learn more about what you do. So I'm glad you have the theme. Keep the theme human rights. We're not we're not telling you to pivot away from that, right. but also let everybody know what else you do as well. Mm -hmm. Right, and that's and that comes down to like building the channel, building the brand mm -hmm. as well. Um, Tom, again, adds that you could build a funnel to create a business for private consults from your channel. Mm -hmm. That's something else. As well. oh, and then when you think about this from a, uh, from the standpoint of like a run of show, so mm -hmm. like a run of show is, you know what, we're going to start at like 12 o'clock and we're going to bring up our, you know, overlay at the beginning, for example, and that's going to be up for two minutes. Mm -hmm. So it's, so it's these little things that are step-by-step -step part of your, uh, live stream. Okay. So mm. it's like, okay, I'm going to bring that up. So then how, do, what other things do we need to bring up during the broadcast? Like, mm. Hey, let's like, you could have a full screen overlay that comes up mm. during the, that you bring up during the broadcast. And that's part of your on a show where you say something to the effect of, you know, Hey, for those of you, if you need private consultation, for example, we also offer that mm -hmm. here's how to get in touch, for mm -hmm. example. And it could send them to, it wouldn't be like, here's my phone number. It's not my, it's not a phone number. It's not an email address. It's, I send them to a page on a website where they could buy services, for example. Mm -hmm. oh, interesting. So you see how you're using your live streams to drive back to relevant services that you could potentially offer. Mm -hmm. Oh, great. Yes. Oh, yes. It's in the man, by the way. Yes, we're we going. We're yes. almost done. Wow. We're doing yeah. overtime. <laughs> um, let's see. So, yeah. So oh. I would say like, I mean, there, like you got, so, here's the thing. I don't think it's actually a lot to work on. No. I think that, um, take it in pieces. Okay. Mm -hmm. So like, what, what can you yes. get on this? Week? Like, yeah. For example, if you're not a designer. Okay. So here's the thing. If you're not a designer, you could go, uh, for example, you could use a tool. We'll use Canva or easel. You could use those tools to make some of your intros, right? Like your static graphics, for example. That might be mm -hmm. version one of your intro. And then uh, and then what you could end up doing is, okay, like when you get to the point where you're like, you know what, I want to actually, I, this is something I know it's got leverage. I know that I can really drive this into something. I might want to pay somebody to then mm -hmm. make a custom design for me. Mm -hmm. Make sense? Yes, of course. And so like then this way you're like, you're building versus a lot of people, you know, They'll do that jump at the beginning. They'll say, oh, well, hey, I'm going to go pay somebody to make all this stuff for me. And they have no audience, no nothing, mm -hmm. no topic. You know, there's no sense in in buying the overlays to begin with. What you could mm -hmm. do is, um, you know, again, start with what you have and then mm -hmm. build on it. Okay. Great. Yep. So, yeah. Um, <laughs> yes, let's see. Let me see what else we got here. Um Oh yeah, good good suggestion of Patreon. Let's see. Uh, and here we go. You got you got somebody right here who's suggesting that they can uh, make graphics and overlays <laughs> for themselves. They can make them for others, obviously. As yeah, and we encourage you. Yeah, we encourage you guys to go to the Streamyard Facebook group and if you you know post something in there, and there's tons of people who knows how to do. Uh, different things. So just go to StreamYard on Facebook and get inside of the community. Thank you. Yes, I will. <laughs> mm -hmm. Very cool. Okay. So if you have any other, you have any other questions or? No, it's great. Now my my head is full of uh, <laughs> information and and with all these great suggestions from you mm -hmm. and and um, mainly from Tom and the other. Yeah. Ones. It's great. Because Here, also yeah. we, we think uh, intellectual property is totally different as human rights, but not they are totally involved one with them. In, this, it falls under your yeah. umbrella. So yes, yeah. 
Absolutely. So it's interesting. <laughs> so I, I got Thank one last me. piece of advice, and this is just yes. for, um, so Zori saying, you know, based on suggestions to Miros, need help. I, I feel like I'm going to cry. Here's the thing. You don't have to do all of this at once. These are all mm -hmm. like suggestions. Step step. Exactly. Like what's the most important, like what's the thing you can tackle like right now? So for example, um, you know, again, like what do you have the time to, to adjust mm -hmm. and use the data to help you adjust as well? Like the, you know, the intro is not that important. For example, mm -hmm. like the intro, like having a, a snazzy countdown timer. Mm -hmm. Like what matters the most is the information people are learning on your streams. So for example, my one piece of advice to Miros here would be if she was doing a two hour live stream, I would use the data and see, are people actually still tuning in for two mm -hmm. hours? And what, at what point they're cutting off? Because if, oh, okay. for example, if you're streaming for two hours and you're not getting anyone to tune in mm -hmm. uh, or you're seeing after the fact, if you look at your analytics, it's like, oh, we got a lot of people. And then it falls flat right after mm -hmm. that. Maybe these even need to be pre-recorded videos. That's right. And that would answer the question for you guys who ask a lot, well, how long should I go live? You know, go live and check your data. See what your audience is saying. Yeah. That's, okay. that's always the best way to find the answer to that question. Actually, the live, uh, uh, the live shows, I want to make them only like for uh, Q&A uh, only. Yeah, that's uh, fine. But uh, when I have a guest, we can uh, um, uh, have this opportunity to 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 make uh, this Q and A, but in a specific topic because of the guest. But that's the only thing I want to do live, no, not uh, the other stuff. But because it's, it's, uh, in radio, it's totally different. You can do the the live different topics and. It's very easy, but the YouTube is different. Totally, <laughs> yeah, YouTube than... is very different. I totally agree with you on yeah. that. Awesome. So you've got some advice. Um, I well, we gave you some recommendations to work on. Again, okay, you don't you. have to do all of these. Just work no, baby on baby steps, baby steps, baby steps, and the go back and watch the started. replay. The key thing is getting started. Like pick pick one of the items that we suggested. Mm -hmm. Yes. For example. And let's like, for example, okay, so let's start with the ethernet cable. We want to make sure mm -hmm. the broadcast looks the best that it can. Let's get the ethernet cable first, yeah. you know, um, or even if, if that's not something you can get today, order it so that it will be here next week. Mm -hmm. And then okay. in the meantime, let's work on the next item on that punch list. What are the things that we need to work on, you know, to continue to get the live stream going, um, you know, and again, just continue to improve and you have the Facebook group. Uh, you can always reach out to us as well for help. Mm -hmm. More than happy Thank to help. And then yeah. we hope that you will actually join us on the next episode in a few weeks so that yes, we course. can uh, <laughs> get an update on your progress. Yes, so, thank you very much. Yes. Awesome. You're so welcome, Eros. And, and great to meet you more directly, guys. Thank you, yeah. thank you, thank you very Anytime. much. And in your case, I would also suggest, um, so we have the StreamYard and Level Up Summit coming up. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, you know, I would encourage you to at least register for it. If you can't make it, we understand, but at least register for it. Because mm -hmm. um, again, we are broadcasting in English and Spanish and Portuguese. That's right. Ah, okay, so, great. Yes. How was, many of y'all have signed up already? Let us know in the chat. Get signed <laughs> yes, up. Uh, yesterday, I showed the Frevilla Maravilla told me about the summit and I, uh, I, I will register myself, of course. Yes, it's going awesome. to be a wealth of information. Thank you very much, guys, for everything. You're so welcome. Anytime. Anytime. Have a great day. You too. You too. You. Bye. Bye. Awesome. Okay, we got one. Actually, we got one other person, Letitia. Yep. Backstage. Okay, perfect. Um, let me see if there's any other comments here. By the way, this is that was just amazing. I gotta say, I really loved. It really was. There. Yeah. And a lot of times, you guys, especially if, if it's a lot of information, like Christian said, execute on one thing and then come back, watch the replay to this and say, okay, what's the next thing and the next thing? Because we give a lot of nuggets. Uh, and Zori, guys. by the way, Zori, um, if you do want to, I think you might have joined us before, but um, I think I, I want to say she was having issues with the microphone and the headphones, I think, one time. But um, do us a favor. If you want to join us on the like next episode, that would be great. Yeah. Um, we can chat with you more about mm -hmm. that and give you some more in-depth advice there. Um, yeah. Let me take one more question real quick, and then we're going to bring up one last guest here. Right. Let's so 
Uh, this question was, does StreamYard have auto captioning for live streaming? My partner and several friends are deaf and I'd like to be able to include them. Mm -hmm. So the auto captioning is enabled in either your browser or on the platform. Mm -hmm. So, and I mean, platform by like Facebook, for example, YouTube, et cetera. Mm -hmm. um, I would recommend turning the one on in the browser. Right. For example, Chrome has an option. If you go into Chrome, I put the link into that earlier. But mm -hmm. if you turn it on, basically, whenever you play a video, it'll do auto captioning for you. Right. So, and it has to be turned on by the user itself. Mm -hmm. So that'd be something to work into your show. For example, hey guys, thanks a lot for joining us. And you know, if you need captioning, um, you can either show them how to do it, or you can, uh, you, know, you can have a little video, you could have a screen or something like that that shows them where to go. And maybe um, later on down the line, um, you know, maybe hiring, you know, somebody to do sign language while on the show. They'll be on one screen, like how me and Christian is. Yeah. Yeah. Let's later on down the road. <laughs> Excellent point. Okay. So, and this is good. El show de Fervila Maravilla. Yes. Uh, Zori got the mic you suggested. Yes. Nice. And awesome. the audio is better. Awesome. Okay. Let's bring on our last guest. Yep. I'll bring him on. Yes. Freedom Patriot Network. How we doing? Oh, I think Hi. he was on the show Hi. before. Hi. Can you guys hear me okay? Loud and clear. Yes. Okay. Sounds good. Can you, uh, do you guys offer gift cards at all? Gift cards of what? Like for StreamYard. Like uh, say if someone wanted to give you a gift or whatever. Oh, like gifting StreamYard. Uh, yeah. I don't think we do. That's a good question, yeah, I don't actually. Think we do. I'll check on that, but I don't mm -hmm. think we do. So what uh, What can we help you with today? Yeah, also had a problem. Like uh, we did a 72-hour live stream straight okay. with a few moderators and it never recorded on YouTube. Is that normal or not? Oh, um, it should. Uh, so basically, okay. So walk me through what happened. Uh, we um, ended the show after seventy-two hours, and it never recorded on on YouTube. Hmm. It's like a lot of views. <laughs> yeah. Um, have you reached out to support on that one? No. I only ask because they. I don't like. I'm wondering if there was, I'm wondering if the 72 hours had something to do with it. Like, yeah, the length of time. See, sometimes people are doing streams that long. They'll like go live for four and then stop. And then we launched live again for another four hours. But yeah, it's probably the time, 72 hours as well. <laughs> yeah, they had a few moderators helping. And right, I've seen saying, yeah, YouTube has time limits for recording. Yeah, so. I think that's what it is. Okay. I'd say, yeah, I'd, I'd say reach out to support on that one. Um, I think they can, like, I, I, I think that they can probably, there may be even something they can look into. I'm wondering if there's an error log they can look at. I have a feeling it's got something to do with the um, time limit, though. Yeah, okay. Adam Exploit says he thinks it's 12 hours that you can stream without mm -hmm. being interrupted. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I'm yes. also doing a live from a remote location. <laughs> so, right, right. So, doing okay, so. Yeah. So well, I'm going to yeah. check on the gifting thing, by the way, to see if we have a way for someone to gift. Yeah, that would be a cool feature. Mm-hmm. And someone um, mentioned restarting after every two hours. Yeah, very yep. possible. That's, that's the only thing I could think of that could be causing that is that yeah. – um, yeah, that like maybe th there's probably some sort of limit that you may have hit there. Mm. So that's why it may not be up. Yeah, okay. I would do the, I'll break it up just to be safe, just to be safe to make sure that it's showing. Um, you should still have the recording. I mean, I know she yeah. keeps your recordings up to 15 days. So you could download it from there, then cut it up, you know, and then upload it like part, like do like part one, part two, part, you know what I mean? So at least you have it up on your YouTube channel. Yeah, it could yeah. be because YouTube's hiding it because uh, it was too much information. They don't want it to get out. <laughs> I don't think yeah, it's the information. I don't That's think it's that. No. <laughs> I don't think it's that. I think it's definitely 72 hours is like maybe you went over the cap. Huh. Yeah, let me yeah. see something. Yeah, so they record up to 12. So YouTube records up to 12 and save it as a public video. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. So. Okay. Yeah. That's because even like Instagram has a limit. Like when I go live on Instagram, I can't 
think it's what an hour cushion. I'm not sure. I don't remember. Uh, I'm, mm. I don't recall offhand, but mm -hmm. yeah, there is probably a limit of sorts. So, um, but yeah, that's probably why your recording didn't get, uh, mm -hmm. didn't get saved. Cause it's again, they only record 12. Okay. No. But congrats on that. Doing that 72 hour live. That's, yeah. that's a boss move. Yes. Yeah. Some of the mud stayed up all night. I'm like, oh man. <laughs> Mikey said it'll probably pop up in 2024. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, because there are limits. Because the other thing is like, I mean, shoot, I, I gotta say, I couldn't imagine like if I do like a one hour live stream, sometimes it takes like 24 hours for YouTube to process that. I know, yeah. I'm like, where is not up yet? And it would take like it would take quite a long time to process your 72 hour stream if there was one. <laughs> Like, that is so funny. We but yeah, but I gotta say, I do like the suggestion on uh, e gifts or e gifting streamer. That's mm -hmm. a really good idea. That's so let me see idea. what we can. Uh, let me see what we can. Uh, Christmas find is out coming. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then also, like, I had to remove some of my videos because uh, I want to still keep the channel going, and so I put on the Bright Dion channel and just doing, you know, doing okay there. That's Very good. cool. Awesome. Um, any other questions you have for us today? No, that's it. Okay. Great questions. Great questions. Awesome. By the way, what are, what are you doing with the? Uh, I think looks like you have a uh, an arm there on the background. Oh yeah, I I removed the um. It's from a screen. It's actually uh, at the okay. remote location for sharing the screen that mm -hmm. uh, on the other computer at gotcha. a different location. Cool. Okay. I was gonna say, I was like, hey, if you if you've got equipment, I was like, let's make sure we put that into action. Let's yeah, get yes. to the that and start using it. So fantastic. Yeah. That's know. amazing. You guys, thank you so much for um letting us do the share screen with uh StreamYard. It's been very good. Anytime. Yeah. Thank you for coming on and thanks for the great suggestion. Yeah. And again, if you have any questions, feel free to just join us back. That's right. Okay, sounds We're good. Here. You like Tisha and, and Christian. Thank you. Bye. 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 Okay, so Letitia, I've got a couple of quick announcements and then we're yeah, gonna do a quick let's giveaway, do it. okay? Yeah, so, guys. Um, the first announcement that I have for everybody is very simple. We're gonna have the StreamYard Level Up Summit coming up this Thursday. Level up, level up, level up. Here's the link. You simply go to streamyard.com forward slash SY level up, all lowercase. Um, so, that will get you to the registration page. This is exactly what you'll see. And then you just basically can pick uh, which ticket you want. For example, if you want the English one, the trilingual one, et cetera, uh, you just check out. And then if you go, if you want to get an idea of the schedule, you can just simply go look at the schedule. We're going to do uh, a wellness session warm up. Uh, we got some opening remarks. Uh, let's see what else we have here. Um, there's some networking involved. We got quite a few case studies here. Uh, mm -hmm. As I mentioned, we got the keynote speaker as well. Uh, Gary Vaynerchuk's going to talk about building a brand with live video content. And then in addition to that, uh, here's a look at some of the speakers. So there's our keynote. Um, we also have on the main stage. So for example, we've got, um, for example, this is, I'm going to probably, there we go. So this is the main stage. Uh, where we're going to have this. We've got our English speakers. Uh, so these are going to be all the English speaker presentations. Uh, we've got the Portuguese section. By the way, Pepe, thanks a lot for joining us. He's going to be speaking in the Portuguese uh, stage. Awesome. And then we've also got the um, the Spanish stage as well. So uh, go and check out the event. Again, it's free. That's the other awesome thing. Yes. So go and register. If you're not sure you can make it, go ahead and register anyway. And then try to book out that time in your calendar. Um, it's 11.45 a.m. Eastern Standard Time to 3.45 PM Eastern Standard Time. So keep that in mind. That's the uh, the level up summit. I can't wait. Yeah, it's going to be really good. Mm -hmm. So with that, what we're going to do is we're going to run a quick giveaway. Ooh. And all you have to do, you can just, just put something in the comments. That's all. Just tell us, um, I don't know, what do you want, what do you want them to, to put in the comments, Letitia? They can put anything, literally. Uh, hashtag level up summit. <laughs> <laughs> actually what is the actually sy level up actually yeah, sy well, yeah put hashtag sy level up tell us if you're attending the uh, put hashtag sy level up mm -hmm. and what we're going to give away today is we're going to give away a t-shirt yes premier t-shirt and again 
Uh, just put anything in the uh, comments, and I'm collecting comments right now. And then we'll draw a winner. The and so SY level up. And I, I do want to make sure that I, I let you all know, like we have this free giveaway tool, by the way. Mm -hmm. And this is available to every StreamYard customer. Everybody. So as long as you have an account, all you need to do is this. So let me pull that back up. <laughs> so this is the uh, this is the giveaway tool. And all you have to do is go to streamyard.com forward slash giveaway if you want to run your own giveaway. And it's very simple. You just simply select whatever broadcast you want to run the giveaway for. So you'd start this as a separate tab when you're running your live streams. And you can put in a hashtag. You can leave it blank as well. You just hit start collecting comments. And it's going to start collecting comments uh, as it's going on. Oh. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and pull up the, uh, let me pull up the contest here. And yeah, I like this Tom again. Tom, thanks a lot for joining us this week. Yes, really thank you. Advice you've been giving uh, our viewers. So, Mr. You know, Nash. <laughs> okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go ahead and pull a winner. And as you can see, this is what it looks like. And Ooh, what's wow. really cool about this is it uses the we got a lot, we got a lot of entries, right? We, we got a lot it? this week. Okay, so I'm gonna let me see if it stops. Okay, so I'm gonna go and draw the winner. Let's draw. And. All you need to do is email marketing at streamyard.com, whoever the winner is. Oh, oh. awesome. So Allie's Crafts Pursuits. I actually, I can't remember. I think she might've been on here I actually. think she was. Hold on, let me pull her up. So all she needs to do, email marketing at streamyard.com, put in the subject, you were the giveaway winner on live stream reviews. Give us your... Uh, name, your address, and then give me your t-shirt size so we can get your t-shirt mailed out to you. Trying to find her. But yeah, that's the uh, that's the giveaway tool. And uh, as I mentioned, everybody gets access to the giveaway tool as a streamer customer. Yes. So, um, Letitia, is there anything else you want to add? Maybe when's, when's our next show, actually? Our next show, I believe, is going to be. Let me just double check here. I think in two weeks, right? On the fourth of September. Okay, so the next episode of live stream reviews, September fourth, twelve mm -hmm. p.m. Eastern Standard Time. By the way, again, we want you to come on. Uh, so don't you know if you want to make sure you don't miss the show, do us a favor, hit that like button and the subscribe button if you're watching on YouTube right. and that notification bell. Uh, also, feel free to invite your friends as well. So if you've got other people that are live streaming or looking to live stream, you know, A, share the, you know, share stream. We love that. But mm -hmm. also invite them to come on. Uh, they can come on with their live stream and, you know, we'll do our, uh, we'll bring on their, we'll bring up their show and mm -hmm. take a look at it. Again, that could be on YouTube. It could be on Facebook. It could be mm -hmm. on LinkedIn Live. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter which platform you stream to. We just we usually just bring up YouTube because that's where most people are streaming too. But right. it could be any destination. Uh, you just let us know. But uh, with that, I want to thank everybody for tuning in. It's been a lot of fun, that's right? right. It has. And guys, please don't forget hit that like button right now. If you forgot to do it, go. If you're watching on YouTube, you, Facebook, wherever, hit that like button. And don't forget to join us inside the Streamyard Facebook group. Definitely. And uh, by the way, one last question for El Show de uh, for Villa Maravilla: Are we going to be in the summit? <laughs> So, uh, I'm going to be, I will be on briefly. Mm -hmm. I'll be on, at the, I think towards the beginning, maybe. Mm -hmm. So, um, so I'll probably be on for probably a few minutes, I think. Yes. And this time I'm going to be watching with you guys. That's going to be extra fun. Yeah. It's be a lot of fun, <laughs> but we hope you all join us. Here's the thing again, free event. Yeah. Excellent speakers. You're going to learn also more about leveling up your live streams. Uh, we've mm -hmm. got a great, uh, great group of speakers there for you. So I want to encourage you to go. Sign up. It's free and join us. That's but right. with that, we'll see you all in uh, on September 4th. September Bye. 4th.